Alright, good morning everyone. Um, today we're going to do a Zeta clear. And we're also going to do um, the best we can for a Fischl farm. Kind of want to get all of them done, but we'll see if that's uh, possible in the first place. There we go. Let's uh, start with that right away. So let's change jobs to... Um, I can stay on Ranger, that's no problem, but my... Bart will have to change, and my uh, Paladin will have to change. Should be fine in general on the uh, Fistule, uh, or on the Zeta part anyway. I don't think a lot of people need to pay attention until the later ones. Uh, why is that? You want Arkira in? It's fair enough if you do, just let me know. Ah, okay, like that. Um, uh, let me know how long you need, mostly, and we'll uh, go from there. Join you for Aeonic if you do them on Sundays. Uh, we can try to work around that, sure. Next weekend. Just making sure here. Good morning, Jubei. <laughs> this weekend is upcoming. Yeah, it's not my uh, native language, so... Sounds good. I don't mind either way. I'll uh, do some fistial farming today. There's probably plenty of other stuff to do as well. Uh, let me get rid of that real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good that we uh, actually tried to uh, say that correctly, because I, I am not sure how that works in English. Well, I think, like, I think I know, but... Got a lot of uh, drops. Damn. That's pretty good.
Wasn't all bad in the uh, SR run. Got a bunch of monies. Fair enough. Let's uh, get right into it then. I'll need to do some uh, OB farming soon for Tenebrae as well. Should have done that a long time ago, especially if I have uh, Scholar with me. Obi actually works really well with um, Scholar on the uh, Paladin. on me, that's fine though. Get four pops right away. Probably, yeah, I'd say that's a really useful one. Allows you to do uh, range setups. Horn on arc, dagger on mini, dagger on era if I get to that point. Oh, whoops. It's actually good. I didn't prop TH yet. There we go. Now I did. Only one. Damn. Yeah, exactly. Not judging, by the way, just uh, curious. Oh shit. The uh, flan is up also. I'll uh, leave that one for now. Get him in a bit.
There he is. Ah, okay, that's fair enough. That is fair enough. Charges right away. I like it. Eleven, eleven TOD. Let's write that down as well. Try and get a little bit more uh, of these bulbs as well. We're at 39, so we're uh, close to being done at least. Well, that guy died. Jesus. I don't know, man, this gun does hurt. <laughs> It's just not often, that's the main problem. Like if you compare Gandiva, for example, it's 50% of the time instead of 13% uh, of the time. But it's still funny to see. Especially considering a lot of people are still shitting on Annihilator, like don't build it. I'm gonna do it like this, and I'll go get the uh, yellow flan to the pop point instead. We got if uh, get us four pops that way. Find him first, though. There he is. Do have to wait a little bit, though. Call that bow useful though. I feel like Gandiva's the only one that has like any merit at all. Maybe I'm wrong and there's an archery weapon skill I'm not thinking about. No, not really. There's no there's no different skill chain properties in general for those. The only or other skill chain property, uh 
Bo gets is Namas arrow, but you have to have relic for that. It does make the best arrows, that's true. That is definitely true. Oh, you do already have it. Okay, I thought you had just gun. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I guess. There are situations where you would use that. Something. Anything that beats it? Like, it doesn't scale well with DP for sure, but I think the Darkness Skull Chain is the only thing that would make it a little bit better, right? I'm just curious, that's all. I've never tried it, that's the thing. Like, it's a 5-fold attack, 1.0 FTP, which has a uh, slight attack penalty. Really high mod. And it deals property less damage. Like, that, that sounds pretty good. It wouldn't be the best weapon skill in the world, but it sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'd say the sword is best uh, for Paladin because they don't have a TP bonus offhand. 
Like if you if you do want to actually savage on Paladin, I think Secrets is still the best, even over Nagling. Kinda depends on how many buffs that you have on you though. If your attack is at a decent level, I'd say Sequence would be uh, Nagling, and if your attack isn't on a decent level, then Nagling would be se uh, Sequence. The thing I'm thinking about here though is it's propertyless, right? So if you can get it to do like 25k damage, while 25k isn't that much, you can do that against anything. Even stuff that is hard resistant to physical. Which is kind of interesting. That too. Paladin is weird in general, just like Runefencer is. I'd say Paladin is weirder though, because it does want a little bit higher HP since it's inherently less tanky than a Runefencer. For some reason. I think that's what, uh, uh, I don't know. Neither play Thief nor want to make a twash. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I guess sword. I'd go for Chango. That's the only actual useful option right there, in my opinion. Especially if you don't really use Ninja. Chango slaps, dude. It still does. Really good weapon. If I ever go wire again, I'm making a nuke on, by the way. Just so everyone knows. I'm gonna be that guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ukon's just a funny fucking weapon. Nah, I'd, I'd probably... If I did make it, I'd probably make it on Tenebre, I think. I'm thinking about just making a AFK Geo set on the, all of them. Like the same set, and it's just... One for Indies, one for uh, AFK bubbling in, and no nuke sets or what whatsoever. I'll uh, just be able to bring a Geo if I need to, but not like need a fuck ton of inventory slots for it, if that makes sense. I don't think Doji is that good, right? I think Doji is mostly not good because Messimune exists, though. Like, if it didn't exist, I think Doji would, would be a lot better. Plus, it's still best to uh, show how weapon to fire a cock correctly. If you need to uh, not skill chain for once. Yeah, Warrior's just funny, man. I really like that job still. 
With the uh, addition of the Hirundi Breastplate, you don't really need Dagon anymore as well if you want to get uh, some good damage in on the MP. It's still good though, Dagon, but it's not as good anymore. I wonder if it still wins. It does have some crit, uh, triple attack besides a crit rate. I kind of like the uh, Sittle Blopus uh, then as well. I wonder if that's a viable thing to do on Warrior. it for DDing in, though Blurt beats it. Good morning, Sep. Woohoo indeed, I'm having so much fun farming my fistules. Just tell you I'm a I'm a crazy person though, but you know. Yeah, that's fair enough. I don't think there's uh, that many people who play, uh, not even pub to begin with, but mostly play pub in a melee fashion as well. I don't know if it's going to be good, by the way, so... Oh, really? Mind you, I haven't checked hand-to-hand -hand weapon skills in quite a while. If you have God Hands and you use uh, Shit in Spiral, it becomes a light uh, property, right? 
So basically what happens is you victory smite and then you Shijin spiral right after and um, that's light into light instead of fragmentation into fusion into uh, another victory smite for double light. Yeah, you can do it once and then the AM is up. I'm fairly sure that's how it works. So where does Dagger go? Oh, I lost that one. Wait, it goes by lower properties first? Really? I thought it went higher property first. Yeah, do it. I could have sworn it went higher property first though. Yeah, I remember that uh, that's how other weapon skills worked as well, so... Yeah, but how much TP do you have on your... Like, are you closing Radiance or Light on the uh, final step? No, no, you only need 2k TP though, not 3k, since it's a uh, three step. With God Hands. Huh. Uh, I'd say try it out and show it. I'm curious now. I don't have God Hands to test it, but I'd uh, I'd want to see that to be honest. I'm not gonna make God Hands either way right now, but can you test that for us? I actually do want to see it. I can't remember other weapon skills doing the same thing. I thought if they had two uh, skill chain properties to choose from, they went with the highest one. But yeah, I can test it, I don't have God Hands, so... Logan boy, show us. Yeah, exactly, log in. I mean, without testing, I, I can't tell either way. I'm not gonna take someone's word over the other without seeing it. You still have gold hands. You can still do it. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. You can kind of test it with Haishi. Not really. We don't have an MP weapon skill that does light.
Um, that's a thing. <laughs> It's both light properties, so we can do it. Yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I I had the same idea, but I, I that's not gonna work. I guess maybe with Requiem Cat. Can I test that with Requiem Cat? It's gravitation and. Shantasunya is distortion light. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Because <laughs> light doesn't do anything for gravitation. Uh, I think you can do it with Fomal. Um, let me check. Oh, that's darkness gravitation as well. God damn it. Stop being so unique, monk. <laughs> um, I think you can kind of try with Annihilator. But it's different because it's not a level 3 skill chain, it's a level 2 skill chain. see, uh, fragmentation and gravitation. Can I do anything with both of those? Yeah. So gravitation into fragmentation. Yeah, but Demidation is different, though. Isn't it? Is that just with Aeonics, then? It might just be an Aeonic thing, Shirai. I can't. I can't test it. I don't have an Aeonic for this. I don't have a FOMAL, dude. <laughs> I have one Aeonic. You keep forgetting. I'm making a FOMAL now. If it makes you feel any better. Nah, we call it Color Chimp all the time. But it's fine. I'm game for having not certain weapons, and he's game for not having a belt. It's all good. I said I wrong, yeah. <laughs> I said chimp. <laughs> I was hoping nobody would hear it. <laughs> we'll test this uh, out later with uh, P2 then. 
kind of curious. It might just be an Ionic only thing, so like the aftermath has priority or something. I mean, you can still do it. All you need is capped haste and your fucking gloves equipped. That's it. Try it. <laughs> Just cake. Made a couple million Jill on a on the auction house. Try it out, man. You can do this. You don't need much except capped haste. That's literally all you need. We don't care. Come on. Do it. Do the thing. There's no time to do other stuff. This has to be tested. Shit, he's getting called out. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. <laughs> uh, I like that one. <laughs> that was that was good. <laughs> Your mouth is writing checks. Your monk ass can't catch the shit, right? <laughs> God damn, man. I gotta do him like that. <laughs> That is funny. Wait a second. Maybe it's uh maybe it's the closing weapon skill that makes a difference here. Have you ever tried last stand with AM up into a demidation? The order of weapon skills might actually matter here as well. Double light consistently. That's something I could test on uh, Aishi at least. Because that is technically the same situation, right? Debidation is frag and light, and last time this fusion and light. Yeah, that, that is the same situation. Just try it, alright? He just tried smite into spiral into smite made light into nothing. Yeah, there's a, there's a mob every 15 minutes here, and the way you uh, he's untargetable until he absorbs another boss, and this guy right here is a boss. So as soon as he pops, we uh, get this guy next to the boss, and he starts becoming targetable again.
But yeah, it, uh, it does take a while, unfortunately. The pop window just opened and it closed in five minutes, so then that's when it should be uh, closed. It's not how Ionics work. Yeah. Exactly. So it is exactly how it works. It requires four steps, not six. AM1 is four step, AM2 is three step, and AM2 is two step. Uh, AM1 is two step. So as soon as you have AM3 up, you do, can do weapon skill one into weapon skill two, and you have light. Or radiance. So that's exactly how it works. Because if you V smite into Shijin Spiral with AM3 up, you will get Radiance, right? Since it's light into Radiance property. How is that not how it works? Uh, do I have F-Blood on me? I do not. You know what? I'm gonna warp out Matt right now. She doesn't need to be here anyway. F-Blood. Actually, it's kind of easier if she's there for the kill. Can that TA that way? Now I'll uh, I'll warp wet out. I'll go to player two and we'll uh, check it out on stream. All right. I'll even go on Bard to make sure that he has cap taste. And I'll load the skill chain uh, the skill chain add-on too, so you can see it's not missing the skill chain. The second weapon skill. Two step means two weapon skills. And it does work that way. Shun into Shun is Radiance at 3k TP. Yeah, I never said that. I said if you have AM3 up, it would be problematic because Victory Smite into Shijin Spiral would make Radiance, and Radiance might be prioritized over. A level 3 light. About adding that mob hit you? Yeah, he's just uh, doing his best. <laughs> just got away, unfortunately. No, no, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you test this, you need to make sure that you don't have AM3 up. And that's that's the thing that we're going to test. Any level of uh, Gold Hands AM is problematic if you want to make smi uh, Smite Spiral into Smite. And that, that's why we're going to test that part. Examine weapon on first weapon skill. What? Why? If it's not done with God Hands, you automatically get level 3 light into level 4 light. So uh, this is uh, what the uh, mob looks like here, uh, separate. 
bring the NM close. And then he says, om nom nom nom. And then the NM dies. And this one becomes targetable. There we go. And then we make sure we uh, TH it. Because I don't want to be here longer than I need to. TH, unfortunately. Let's try again. There we go. There we go. And again one. That's a shame. Uh, now we wait again. It's basically the uh, gameplay loop for a while. Though gates probably at crabs. Eleven fifty two. Uh, let's put the stream on wet real quick. change then. Alright. Just in case, I'll go Bard so we're capped haste. In case uh, Joachim wants to be an asshole. Oh fuck. Have to go to the right here, whoops. This mount is awful. I don't like it. Almost there. I'll change to Bart real quick. I'll uh, load the skill chains add on as well. Let's remove member two. Time for action. <laughs> oh, right. Now oh, that's a mount. I don't know why this one just tracks me up, but it does. So silly. Elvans are just large enough for this one to be the best uh, amount.
Oh, I didn't know that trick. I thought you had to wait either way. Even if you did hand, uh, get lead handed back. Good to know. <clears throat> All right, you're here at least. It's good. Yeah, I'm fairly sure they patched that. I think really early on it worked, but... I'm fairly sure it's not a thing anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why either, it's kind of a weird one, right? Add-on load skill chains. Uh, Marmar Min. Songs. So we got a marcado up on our march, got a victory march, and we got a minuet. And for good measure, I'll give him a haste as well, which should not be needed, but. At least his accuracy should be kept. You should be uh, heavily overcapped right now. Just Honor March and uh, Victory March alone uh, caps you out. Alright, I'm going to target the crab so I can see the skill chains add on. Uh, yep, he is using God Hands. There's a victory smite. He's got five, four, three, two. That was on time. There is the light skill chain. Double light. All right, AM1 is now up. AM1 was down for that one. So let's see if this uh, produces the same result. As you can see here, AM1 is up. He is still using God Hands. There is the first victory sm uh, smite. Here's the timer. Two, one. Got it in time. There's the first light skill chain. There's the second victory smite. And no light skill chain. He is still using gold hands. And AM3 is still up, as far as I can tell. Yep. So, uh, confirmed, it does not work. Second time around, still didn't work. Alright, let's warp out. So we can finally... Let this rest. <laughs> and I have even more reason to not make gold hands, which I am actually very happy about. Uh, it's gonna be on cooldown, isn't it? Uh, 11.52, so... Oh, window is not even nearly open anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, Howling is not a bad weapon skill, but... I feel like in general, Kankonkan is going to be stronger anyway. Kind of depends on your setup and which automaton you're using as well, because I'm looking at it from a Puppet Master's perspective. Which is obviously a weirder perspective than uh, Monk is. So who knows, it might actually be worth in the end. I don't honestly know which weapon skills would mesh really well with the uh, automaton weapon skills. Shoot. 
distributed ones for hate solidification. Not that it's needed, but just in case. Alright, let's go back to ARP. But yeah, it's gonna be... It might be different for Puppet Master just because of the uh, skill chains it does and the skill chain properties it has. But even then, if, if I can get away with using String Pummel, I think that's one of their best weapon skills still. What's the main reason for spamming Ho Howling Fist on Oni, by the way? Oh, I don't want to skill chain him. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. I guess it depends on the rest of your party as well then. Now the real question is, what do I want to skill chain with with Automaton? Yeah, that's kind of nice. It's pretty high uh, FTP mod as well. It's not super high, but it's uh, a decent amount. Let's uh, check Automaton weapon skills out. Smite, Shredder, Smite is good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Shredder into Pummel sounds pretty decent. Shredder is not the best weapon skill around this, is it though? Like in general, you want to use Bone Crusher, especially against. Uh, what's it called? Against Undead. But even without Undead, I think Bone Crusher wins, right? Could have sworn it does at least. Uh, let's go back to Scholar. Spiral Crusher Smite. That's also an option. Let me actually check the uh, weapon skills out. I remember which ones it has, I just don't really remember uh, which properties, uh, skill chain properties they had. It's been a long time. Abyssia was the last time I uh, played Pup, so... But I do want to go for that shit. I think in general though, for most of those weapon skills, Kenkonken is gonna be best just because of AM3. I wonder if... Um Tactical Switch is actually worth using to put AM3 up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but it only works on the first hit, right? For melee autos, or does it work on both? I know uh, MP only works on the first hit, but... First hit only, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's still good. That's still really good. Window opens in two minutes. I should be there by then. Four minutes, so we have about an hour left on the other two characters. It's good to know. There we go.
Let's see, Armor Shatterer is Fusion. There's no real darkness weapon skill for... Uh, for Monk is there, or for hand to hand. It's kind of a shame, otherwise we could close with that after a, a String Shatter as well. I mean, it's still a... Yeah, I guess a single step skill chain. I kind of wonder if it's worth uh, using the attachment to skill chain with you and make like a four step that way with string pummel uh, closing. Not sure about that. I'm willing to bet you can, but I'm not sure what the best option would be. Let's check it out. How do you make distortion like that? Via a fragmentation close, alright. So if we can make fragmentation somehow, which is via induration into reverberation. Uh, cannibal blade is reverberation, but that's a really shit weapon skill, so in general that's not going to be a great idea. Does hand to hand even have an induration weapon skill? Uh, tornado kick, okay. So technically, you could tornado kick into cannibal blade, into string shatter, if it uses that. Uh, which it should, which it should. Into string pummel for a four step. So that's one uh, one way to do it. Hey, Peru. Thanks for the lovely host again. First one, you'll have to force a maneuver. Isn't there a um, uh, attachment for that though? I thought there was. Or is it gonna use something else instead of you? Tornado kick. Let's see. Uh, tornado kick would be induration, impactation, detonation. Uh, does it have gravitation weapon skills? It does not. Maybe an impactation one. Uh, it should actually work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Now I'm thinking it the wrong way. I'm thinking about uh, auto closing there. That's my bad. Always lags when I raid, yeah. I don't notice the lag myself, so sorry if uh, <laughs> if it's there. I feel like Twitch is being a little bit fucky uh, lately, anyway, though. Off to make food and stuff my face. I know that feel. Have a good one. Looked at it the uh, wrong way, that's my bad. Yeah, you'll have to then. Um, how do you force a fragmentation like that? Let's see. Pretty much the only way is induration into reverberation, so... Would be Chimera Ripper. It's not the worst one. And then a reverberation. She's in spiral this reverberation, so that's a good one as well. It's actually not bad. Uh That should work. Camera Ripper is not a hard one to force, I'd say. 
since you want to have fire up anyway. So in that case, you'd have probably fire, wind, and one other. Just need to make sure that it's not light, dark, or thunder. And the rest is just it closing, I guess. But can it close with that attachment as well? I don't actually know. It's gonna be awkward either way, just because of the way it works. Oh, hey, look, it's Fistul. Alright, let's go to Mwets and stand about here. Sneak attack. Yeah, the, the real question is though, if uh, you can even open with the automaton, if that attachment is equipped. Because I'm not sure about that either. Oh shit. It's my bad, I guess. Alright, good point. Double discharge, we like those. That's what we're doing it all for. Not the skill chain bonus one, but the store TP one you can. Okay, that's good. We'll hold try and close. So you need to make sure that your um I mean, you could make the automaton double close if it can get to be fast enough, technically, but I don't know if that's the that's the case. Would be a less than ideal situation though, because if you have if you have less than one k or more than one k TP, it'll hold indefinitely, right? Which is also not a good thing. Where is that thing? Oh, it's all the way over there. I didn't know he could roam that far, damn. Yeah, it can be annoying. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. In hips, you can still have it open. Like, I only want it to hold on a second skill chain. That's the problem here. So it does still open with an hip. It doesn't. It doesn't hold for you, unless a weapon skill is already going off. There we go. Uh, twelve, twelve. And we wait again. Okay. And I'm, a I'm actually kind of hyped for pub just because of this kind of stuff. I really like this. If the Puppet Master is above or uh, at or above 900% TP, the, the Automaton will wait to use a weapon skill, otherwise it will weapon skill normally. The Automaton will ignore maneuvers to use the highest level weapon skill it can skill chain with, with any weapon skill used. So it's always the highest level as well. It's not the highest level skill chain, but it's the highest level weapon skill. That's the way this is worded, at least. Whether it's true is a whole other story, of course, but... I'm gonna assume that it is. If different... Oh, you mean inhibitor 1 and inhibitor 2? Or... What do you mean? I 
Yeah, yeah, they definitely do. There's like a priority list that'll go through it first. Starting with the uh, highest one. And the rest is uh, forced by maneuver. But you do need to be below 900 TP then to start that shit. That's what it says here, that it will hold with inhibitor indefinitely until you... Yeah. That's something we can test at least. Kinda hope it's not true. Would be kinda cool if we uh, could make a semi-tank setup with that as well. Just multi-stepping with a tank that way. That sounds pretty fun. Just did 3-step myself. Yeah, 3-step should go a lot better. I think 4-step is uh, gonna be a little bit clunky. Like, 3-step should be fine because every time you weapon skill it'll just close and that's that. Is there anything good to close with uh, string pummel 3-step wise though? I want the distortion effect, so that would be transfiction into scission. Uh, you could howling fist or yeah, no, that's that's it. Howling fist into uh, string clipper. Oh no, into string shredder. That works as well, actually. Either of those works, and I can't really force String Clipper to begin with, I think. I'm not sure if that's a better one, though. It might actually be better. Ooh, yeah, that's actually a lot better. <laughs> that sucks. How do you force string clipper? Wait, does smite work? Oh yeah, you can just fragmentation into uh, distortion as well. Yeah, so either howling fist or victory smite works then. Yeah, it's just like a hard rep, isn't it? The only thing that's different is one other skill chain property on Shredder. It's kind of shitty though, because String Clipper is actually a lot better. Rip. Smite Shredder or Smite. I think in general, string bubble is gonna be better, right? Maybe not. Actually, yeah, no, probably not. Depends on what uh, weapon you have. If you're Gun Conquer, it's gonna be miles better, but without Gun Conquer, it's probably gonna be a little bit worse. Yeah, Gun Conquer is just a straight up increase of what, like 49.5% at R15. 40% uh, without. Or thir 35? Can't remember. Pretty high at least. Range of frame for defense down on weapon skill. That's also really good, yeah, for sure. That's pretty, uh, pretty big. Oh, I got those mixed up. I thought Armor Pierso was the one that did that. It's Armor Shatterer, apparently. How much is that defense down? 15%. Uh, it's at least very accurate, so that's that's a good thing, I guess. I like the crafting pub, that's fun. So many weird things about it, you know? I'd say Puppet Master is one of the weirdest jobs in this game.
Man, I remember Magic Mortar being ridiculously strong. Until it got nerfed. It's actually like a nerf as he was like, okay, we're gonna nerf this. This is way too strong. That shit was funny. I think Puppet Master will be funny just for that reason. <laughs> I wonder how many pieces of gear I need for Geomancer. Need an indie set, I need a Geomancy plus set and an AFK set, I think. And even a Geomancy plus set doesn't need to be large. So it's probably more like indie set and uh, AFK set. I guess I could go for fast gas, but honestly, Geomancy gas really fucking fast already. I don't feel the need to get fast gas on it at all. <laughs> Would more be a thing, uh, more most likely be a thing like I'll use whatever I have flying around. I wonder what uh, Automaton's magic accuracy is actually at. I don't think it's gonna be that good, but... I kinda wonder. I have an Uduk. Kappa. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. I swear, whoever thought of the whole pudding idea for Final Fantasy is actually such a weirdo. <laughs> I'm looking at this mob now, I'm like, Yo, that is actually really fucking strange. That's some nightmare fuel right there. Uh, 12, 12, so 3 minutes until the window opens then. Or two minutes. Wait, the black mage gets dread spikes? Oh, what?
Is that gonna be good? I don't think it can cast it on anyone else, so, but... That is super weird. I need to uh, get a good uh, automaton name still as well. <laughs> Butler. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Even has my dad's name in the uh, in the automaton name list. That is really weird. <laughs> Clank is such a good name for it, though. <laughs> I like that one. I'm fairly sure most people already pick Clank, right? I mean, they kind of have to. Oh my god, there's a Marvin. God, these names are pretty fucking good. I don't know what I want to name my alt, though. They all seem pretty fucking good. I used to go with uh, Serenade. That, that was my automaton for a really long time. I've seen a lot of uh, Lobos in my time as well. I've never seen an author named Clank. It is pretty good, though, right? Let's be honest. Yeah, it's special. I haven't played in like nine years. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely a lot changed. I can tell you that much. In my opinion, in a good way. I feel like um, more often than not, when there's new viewers, it's like, hey, I I remember this game, and I had a need of searching, uh, like looking it up and seeing how it's doing right now. Which is kind of funny, because the game is so much different from back then. Like, the difference is pretty insane. They're gonna knock me back. No? Alright, cool. Bob. Another discharge for me. Two of them, actually. Find a discharge. We're at 45. <laughs> What any time do we have uh, left? We have time for one more here. We need to uh, zone out. I do want to finish this though, so I'm definitely going to. There we go. Let's pull the next mob. And meanwhile, we can just jam out to the uh, battle tune in Abyss, yeah? <laughs> It stays on for uh, about 15 to 20 minutes. You can even name your automaton Joe. Wow. <laughs> that is... <laughs> that is something. Or mobile. Or archer. Footman. Wait, these names are so fucking weird. I actually really like that. Um, if you want to open your inventory, for me at least, uh, go to your numpad, press the top uh, right button, the minus key. It opens up this thing. Then go up to items and press enter. What you can also do is control I to skip that entire thing. That should uh, get up your uh, 
inventory. Mind you, if you have played a private server in the past and you're using the same launcher without uh, doing anything different, it might actually fuck with your client a lot. Because they, they do uh, adjust a bunch of stuff to make uh, private servers uh, playable. But control plus I should work. And if that doesn't work, do the old fashioned way by opening this menu and then items. Alright, 12.30 is time of death. I am going to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. All right, we back, boys. Uh, let me check. Oh yeah, you haven't played for a while. <laughs> That's the uh, equipment window instead of the uh, item uh, or the inventory window. But yeah, you'll notice that there's a lot of things different now. Yep, <laughs> I can tell, dude. I can tell. Played the uh, one of the two OP Abyssia jobs. Oh, well, um, Ninja isn't the best DD anymore, but it can certainly take a uh, lot of hits. It is very tanky for a DD. So you'll be uh, happy to hear that probably, if you still want to continue it. But there's a lot to upgrade, man. Game's a lot different now. In a good way, in my opinion. Like, I've played this game for about 15 years now, and I think the game's a lot better now. In comparison to what it used to be. And Abyssia is the first major change in that. I really want to choose an automaton name, but I'm having trouble. So many good ones. I really like Butler as well. Such a good name, dude. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, if you do want to play with a group eventually, um, our L uh, yeah, our LS is uh, pretty much open to anyone, so... All it takes for you uh, is to be on the same server, otherwise you can't really go into a link shell. But yeah, definitely uh, let me know if you want that. Because the game's definitely a lot better with friends as well. In Odin. Uh, it's a pretty busy server at least. But it's mostly Japanese time. Most of Odin. Still have so much pile. It's kind of crazy. 
That Bulbury goes pretty fast, to be honest. It's really passive as well. Don't think I can sit, right? Very close to finishing this at least, but yeah, you'll uh, you'll be pleased to know that I'm actually in Abyssia right now, <laughs> farming Fistule for my Gandiva, which is gonna take quite a while, because it's the first stage out of uh, the three major ones, where the second stage and mostly the last stage is gonna be really shitty. This one is just a lot of waiting around. The last stage is, I'm not looking forward to that one. That one's gonna be rough. I'll try to get 10 items per day. And do it like that. But it's definitely gonna be rough. How many people are gonna be mad at me if I make a Kankonkan over a bird gang? Besides a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, in general. I don't use my mouse at all in the game. I use it to point at something on stream sometimes, and that's it. I don't actually use my mouse for controls at all. Both of my hands are always on the keyboard. Um, a lot of people use that. I personally am more of a fan of uh, numpad to move around because my uh, numpad hand is really close to my arrow keys as well, so I can just do this. So I can use uh, mo movement and camera movement with one hand. But it's, yeah, it's personal preference really. There's even people who bind certain stuff to a whole different section of their keyboard as well, so you can uh, do whatever you want, basically. The sky's the limit. Especially with uh, how many add-ons exist now. There's definitely a lot of different options there. Twenty-six minutes, alright. Getting close at least. Now what I could start doing, and maybe should start doing, is uh, start gathering Riftborns. I could also un fully unlock Pup at this point as well. I'm not sure if I want to yet. It's gonna take me about 10 mil to buy all uh, of the attachments, I think. And I do want all of them, so just wanna do it in one go. I should probably save for my Riftborns first, though. Because this bow is not going to be good until uh, until it's after Gloat, basically. Especially since I don't have any arrows as well. It's kind of nice that MPs don't require any uh, trials afterwards. I'm not really used to that. I guess it's the same with Aeonics as well, but I don't use my Aeonic that much, except for Haishi. I guess I use uh, Honor March Law as well, but... That's different, I guess. I'm not using sequence as much because on Paladin I don't feel comfortable <laughs> using anything but Atonement quite yet. I can make a Savage Shot for it that uh, stays at 3k HP though, and I probably should at this point. I do have the gear uh, that needs to be augmented for it as well. Yeah, there's a few things I want to spend money on right now. I want to spend money on uh, two Unity Augments for Paladin. I want to spend money on Riftborn Boulders. I want to spend money on Puppet Master. I'm not sure which one I should do first, because I only have 
money for one of those items, basically. Well, I guess two for, uh... Well, one and a half more if I go for the Puppet Master Attachment shot. I think I should do Gandiva first, though. Just finish what I started. Yeah, Paladin's starting to go uh, get ready of the ground after... I get it, it's uh, HP set stuff. It's gonna be important. Really looking forward to that cure set though. I think I still need a Mendicant Searing for it as well. Yeah, I do. Need a Founder's Hose. The one I have is kinda shitty though. I kinda hope to uh, at least get a better Mind Augment on it. The rest I already have. Need a better Founder's Hose and I need a Mendicant Searing. The rest is, uh, well, the Unity Augments as well, but I need that for every set. And Diva has more swag, true. I actually really like the way uh, Elvans look, the w like uh, when they're shooting shit, it just looks really cool. A lot of people say the marksmanship animation is really good, but the bow animation is honestly really fucking good as well. I can show that on stream, I guess. I really like how they do that, man. It just looks cool. That's not, not how you hold a fucking bow, by the way. <laughs> it really isn't. Apex Arrow even makes that better. I think the Fistula is up soon, so I'll do this on a different mob. It really is. It really is. I swear, man. Elfan is just... Someone from the hood. We mother is up again. Oh, cool. Alright. Uh, Apex arrow. Just look at this, dude. Oh, fuck. I don't have enough TP. Ah, damn it. I didn't want to kill it because it cancels the animation. Fuck. Oh, this is definitely a event as well, by the way. So if anyone needs uh, Kindred Crest, now's the time. Don't do a backflip when you punch stuff. I kind of like Elvan's animation in general, to be honest. Even for punching stuff. Oh, by the way, Shirai, we actually uh, tested it out, and it seems like uh, Player 2 was right on this one. You cannot do a double light if AM1 is up with uh, God Hands. At least not with Victory Smite into Shijin Spiral into Victory Smite. Which is unfortunate, but it's the way it is. I think so. It was definitely not God Hands. And honestly, I, I'm not surprised because in general this game uh, prioritizes higher skill chains. And a level 4 light is a higher skill chain than a level 3 light. But yeah, at least we know now. Or know for sure now. Like, I already kind of knew, but it's good to have that confirmed. Because it makes gold hands a lot worse than it already was. <laughs> That's what I like about this game though, like if you if you have like a certain premonition like hey this is how this works right, you can always go test it and be surprised. Yeah, <laughs> that is really ironic. That, that is definitely really ironic. Alright, the window should be open now. And it will close in 5 minutes, so by then it should have spawned. 
That's so weird though, isn't it? Like, that's the only reason you really use it, apart from a high FTP, non-self-skill chaining uh, weapon skill. But that's that's our only use right now, right? On gold hands. I am not surprised about that one. Especially Gin. <laughs> Gin fucking falls over. I think that's like the first omen boss that you're supposed to try and solo. Because he doesn't really have any mechanics to deal with. Alright, stand here. Uh oh, whoops. Sneak attack, faint. And trick attack afterwards. That's the first DH increase. See if we can get two of those. Unfortunately not. That's fine. Oh, fuck, that's a problem. It's too far away. Gravity effect is insane. Alright, that is 47, I think. 1248 is the DOD. Let's warp out and warp back in to get some uh, stuff back here. I saw that the uh, flan was up as well, so I don't need to farm a pop just yet. I guess Dragon Kick is like one of the things, or Tornado Kick maybe even, but... Eh. I mean, there's a lot that uh, just eating a sushi can fix in that uh, department. Yeah, it does. It does. That's definitely true. The Nidra Kick in general is pretty strong though, right? I remember it being uh, fairly strong. People use it with uh, boost, I think. 1350 plus. How much accuracy are you at? With all of the new gear, it has so much accuracy as well though. With the Sakpata gear and everything. I wouldn't say bad, right? There's no way it's bad. It has 40 accuracy per piece, that's not bad. Sakpata has also 40 accuracy per piece. Without augments. It does go to 55 per piece uh, when fully augmented though. Which is actually kind of insane, that's really good. Spiral DK Smite with Footwork, and otherwise DK Spiral Smite for Solo 3 uh, step. Yeah, that makes that makes sense, but that's only during Footwork, so for Puppet Master I'd still say Gold Hands is kind of shitty. Since I'm looking at, uh, at that from a Pup perspective instead of a Monk perspective. I do understand why it's good on Monk though. Or can be good on Monk, I should say. Like it has more of a use there. I think Pup is just, it doesn't have those tools. Yeah, it's just a specific scenario, but you can't really make that scenario on Pup. That's the real problem. Eleven ten accuracy, so that's twelve twenty with food, right? Oh, yeah. well, I mean, if you need accuracy, that's not a good idea, is it? 
Do you really need it to make your exit uh, work or something? Again, it's very, uh, like, you need, like, 1200-ish. Maybe 1250. Again, it's fairly easy to hit. Again, it's just a thief mob, which is uh, why you need a little bit more. Since he has evasion bonus traits. No, no, I get that, I get that. I'd still say Gin is the easiest uh, of the two, though. Don't have any mechanics to deal with, just slap him around and don't die. And the not dying part is pretty easy on him as well. I think for everyone, Gin is like the practice boss on Omen. Well, yeah, but it's also like, it does have all of the mechanics the other uh, Omen bosses have as well. So think um, uh, Meteor when it's low, Interference Spam when it's low, that kind of stuff. So you do need to deal with something, but that's what all Omen bosses have. So you can get used to all of those things. Wait, this guy looks so ugly when he's in resting position. I mean, he's already ugly, but goddamn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's me right now behind my desk, by the way. Need more fistules. Uh. <laughs> uh, goddamn. I swear, man, whoever made the, the flan mob is a like, goddamn genius. And should be in jail at the same time. <laughs> It really is, yeah. Wow, even Glanz over got hands. Like, may I mean, it makes sense, but that hurts. That is so low. What the fuck are you using? Is Dark's uh, accuracy that bad? I guess Warrior gets a little bit from Aggressor, but it's not that much, right? Two Cheerage Rings, Brutal and Cassons. Don't you have Telos? Why don't you use Talos instead? I'm guessing plus 30 accuracy on the cape, the NQ belt as always, and I'm guessing a new to grip. Stack DA, yeah, but I don't know, man. I'd still use a Talos. And I did shed Anya color as well, unless you really need the STP from that. That is so little, though. That is, that is no accuracy at all, really. Uh, let's see. Smite, Spiral, Smite, without impetus up. Glance is only about 3%. Wow, really? That's insane. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'd still not use it if your accuracy, your native accuracy is that low if you want to solo shit though. I think that's just a bad choice. Does it take you from like a 5 hit to a 4 hit or something like that? An Apex mob tier stats with just Sylvie and Capped Magic Haze, they are in the 9800 DPS range. That's really high. Is that including AM3 then? 
Yeah, exactly. That's kind of important as well. You waste a lot of weapon skills uh, putting that shit up every three minutes. It's just a toggle piece for Meva. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Just use it during zero hour, that kind of stuff. Or interference, I guess. Zero hour doesn't really matter with that shit. I think for zero hour is like a throat stab effect, right? It's like a straight up HP percentage. Fury, smite, uh, smite. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Reduce by MDT. Uh, can you magically evade that shit though? Yeah, that looks a lot better. That's a lot better. I was about to say that that seems super low. Just a Thork alone is gonna matter on this one though. That and uh, Talos. Talos is really fucking good. Yeah, if you have one AF plus three piece, you can at least uh, put Regal into it if you don't need the Cherish plus one for an exit. It's a lot of accuracy as well in one slot. Mate, you should see my Ranger set. <laughs> it's fucking crazy how high the accuracy on Ranger is. I mean, it makes sense because they have like the highest accuracy bonus rate, but... Just pretty funny still. I remember on the dancer I had like 1250 or 1300. I think it was 1300 accuracy in my uh, standard TP set. It was really high as well. Plus all of the evasion down effects, but that doesn't really apply to Omen bosses since they get removed all the time. When did I kill this actually? 1248. Alright. Should be up in about 5 minutes. Sword play? Maybe. <laughs> Reefs kinda suck on Geo. I always did that on the reefs when I was uh, not really geared, I just sleep cut first and then uh, started doing stuff. No buffs plus food and four seals. Wait, no buffs, no food and no four seals. Excuse me, are you serious? Yes to four seals. Oh, okay, I was about to say, what the fuck? But four seals add a lot as well. So... Swordplay is plus 60 evasion and accuracy. Which is a decent amount, but... Plus 80? Oh, jump points as well then. Yeah, there it is. Okay, plus 80 then. That is still a massive amount, it's definitely true. It's kind of funny that technically uh, Paladin gets a really fucking high accuracy stat as well. How much is Unlight well, at max uh, capacity actually, I'm kind of curious. No known skill cap, 600 skill is about the max you can get on it. <laughs> uh, let's see...
145 is the maximum amount of accuracy they get from just in light 2. But that's like the maximum, that's not uh, realistic since that is uh, 600 skill. You're not gonna have 600 skill. If you wanna keep your HP, that is. That is still an insane amount though. That is still a very high amount. Some weapons give a fuck ton of accuracy as well, like uh, Malignant Sword and Nagling. It's kind of like a worse Matsui. Um, not that surprised about that one. <laughs> that makes sense. Brilliance is kind of interesting as well. I could technically macro that in, by the way, for a light. I wonder how Brilliance works for that. Not sure. Yeah, Malignant Star is really nice. Accuracy plus 35 as well, has other useful stats. I'm not surprised about that one either, especially with uh, AM3 up on Bird Gang. But you kind of need a bird gang for that, I think. If you want to do that. Yeah, exactly. It's just a lot of multi-attack you're not getting otherwise. I like a lot, a lot. <laughs> Makes a lot of difference. I'm fairly sure with that new gear, any fucking mage can do that as well with uh, Samurai Roll Up. It's pretty funny. How far am I on that thing, actually? Oh, about two fifths in. I thought you were using regular Aldo, my bad. <laughs> Which pieces should I get for the bare minimum uh, Geo? Like, I, I want to make, basically make two sets. One indie set and one um, My Bubble is Up idle set. And that's it, because 900 skill comes pretty much natively. I don't mind going to plus three on AF. Hands, uh, hands, one hundred percent. Legs and body, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, relic head as well. Relic head is really good. Uh, let's see, body and legs, life cycle plus 14, I guess that's important. I don't think the legs are needed. Like, so, here's my uh, issue with uh, Geo, right? If I don't cast anything but Geo spells, like I'm just there for, to be a bubble bitch and nothing else, do I even need fast cast? Because Geomancy casts really fast. Like half a second or something. I don't think I need the fast cast. I think the fast cast pieces I already have are plenty. Puts me at like, what, 40% or something? I don't think I need more than that. Oh shit, it's Fistul. Let's 
this one. I didn't count. Fuck you. Double discharge again. We're taking that. We're closing in. Just wait here for a little bit. 1308. Just need one more. I don't think I have F blood though. I do not. The uh, life cycle makes sense, so that sounds pretty good. Just a neat little thing to have. The magic evasion on uh, some AF pieces is pretty high as well. I don't think that warrants use though. Not like that at least. So I kind of want to make my Geo itself tanky as well while I, uh, I'm in range. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet though. Like, I feel like I should uh, be able to get close to uh, Cap DT, but... The rest of Geo's gear I'll just store. I should not need a Handler's Earring and that kind of stuff either once I have Idris. And I'm going for Idris on all three of them, eventually. So that's what I want to gear for. It's good to have the option. New gear makes it easier for DT. Kind of depends on what the DT options are, though, because some some options are just really expensive. That's uh, what I like about it. Is it's really hard to get to the bad DT cap, so all you have to focus in uh, focus on is. Uh, Regen and your own DT. I think that's enough, actually. There we go. don't need pet TT most of the time. I mean, it's really easy to cap it out though. You have AF hands, you have uh, Idris, and apart from that you need like one more thing, I think. That was already pretty close to cap last time I checked. Without Idris. I guess, but I'm going for Idris anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not really sure on who I'll do it first, but... Yeah, exactly. Where is he going? <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's stand here for a li little bit.
I guess I should get a couple of gun my shields. Wait, is Isa belt actually used? I didn't know that. I guess it makes sense. A little bit of regen. Yeah, that makes sense. Not sure how I feel about no Delcha and Braconi on these sets though. A little bit extra regen seems like it would go a long way. I don't think I care about my refresh that much. Like I'm not gonna get a uh, Bagua charm for sure. I, I ain't paying for that shit. They're really easy to make though, like for me they're pretty much free to make as well because I have a million fucking stones for those things. So there's no reason not to for me. I guess I can use Lorica Torque instead. To make DT a little bit easier to handle. Uh, that, it's one extra piece for, like, I already have it on two of my characters as well. I'm, I'm gonna keep those, I think. So that cape gets a lot of uh, hate nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bog is not the thing that makes your HP go down. Ecliptic is. Doesn't a book doesn't give a DGen. Never did. I think I have the hood already, I have the mittens already. So the acidity pens I'm kinda curious about. Is that actually worth it? Like I don't feel like it is. Same magic evasion as well, you may as well go for Telchine, right? Release to get? The acidity, you mean? I already have them. I already have the Telchan Braconi as well, so... So Isabel is something I can just pick up, I'm fairly sure. That shouldn't be hard to get. Yeah, it's just a... Uh... One is that camera dress fracture. That's that's easy to get. Shouldn't be a problem. No, I I get what it's for. I just don't feel like that one per tick refresh matters. Unless you're using uh, Sylvie, then it's two per tick, I guess.
Most of them also say uh, ethereal earring for Geo, but I don't. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna change earring for this shit. Yeah, it's not anymore though. So I gotta adjust, I guess. Surprised both of these sets say nothing about Relic plus uh, 3 headpiece, by the way. The HP plus 600 has to be better. How much uh, native H HP does a bubble have? I'm uh, looking at both of the uh, sets on the wiki, and both of them, one of them says Telchine Cap, and the other one says uh, Azimuth Hood, as in the uh, best in slot idle gear. Relic Head is really good. Plus 600 uh, HP on your bubble. You need to keep it equipped, otherwise you lose the HP, right? I'm fairly sure. Yeah, exactly. Blue upon HP plus only applies when the hat, uh, while the hat is worn. No, just idle in it, easy. So any indie closure shit while a bubble is out, you're just gonna use that hat as well. So that is one less indie uh, thing to get as well, I guess. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I don't think there's any indie uh, things for the headpiece, though. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, exactly. So that's a big fucking increase then. That's plus 25% HP on a bubble. That is big. Yeah, but that's uh, no problem for me, area because I'm only going to use two sets anyway, which is an indie set and a uh, idle set that I cast my uh, bubble in, and that's it. Just make sure that I have 900 skill. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother getting a fast cast set, because Geomancy is really fast. Like, it casts insanely fast, it's not needed at all in my opinion. I mean, my Asper sets are still really on point, especially on my Scholar, since I'm, you know, doing Asper on that. Yeah, that was a big fucking money drain, I remember that. Three mil a shard.
Uh, it's funny though because um, a lot of pieces for a lot of jobs were kind of shit. They were pretty expensive at the start, and then they a lot of them went downhill really fucking fast despite being good, but just like the jobs weren't played as much. <laughs> the show was pretty funny. Uh, I'm fairly sure it doesn't work like that. That's a, that's how the rest of this game works. So I'm I'm fairly sure it works for this as well. Wait, HP percent doesn't change. Or your max goes up or down. Wait, so it does remove it? That'd be an anomaly for this game, though. It's not how any of the other gear works. That's it out. It'll, oh, like a loop. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to use a flat HP number. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was about to say, like, that would be really weird if it didn't work like that. But, yeah, for the actual coding part of it, that's uh, not how you're supposed to do it then, yeah. Since it'll up your percentage again. You'll have a really stupid loop going. <laughs> I guess what you could also do is, as soon as that happens, you can um, increase a certain variable to something, and as soon as the pet uh, dies from that point on, the variable gets reset. Because that's something you can check for as well. That way you can, um, without using the actual lock feature, you can just lock it in place after its HP drops once below a certain uh, number. Yeah, I'm probably just fucking... No, but you don't have to, Shirai, because if the pet uh, falls below 70% HP, right? You don't need to wear the hat anymore. There's no reason to. So you can wear other hats at that point. Because you already lost the HP, so removing the hat doesn't change the HP of the Luopon at all. Uh, for life cycle, sure, but you can just macro it in for life cycle as well, so. And at that point, it's gonna be above, any, uh, again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna cast in anything else anyway, because there's no reason for me to. I think at most, I'll go for a uh, azimuth hood and do it like that. So I have some pet region outside of uh, outside of it, but I I doubt it to be honest. There are some nifty tricks you could do though, but like I honestly don't care about Geo that much. I just want the to have the option for the link shell mostly, and I want it on everyone because it requires just an Idris really to be fully functional. It's not as good as a support as it could be, but honestly, unless I bought uh, bought that stuff as well, I'm not gonna 
use heals and that kind of shit much. And if I do want a nuke on Geo, I can just come on uh, Weth since she does have nuke sets anyway. And maybe eventually Arp if I do get Red Mage for him. Because they, uh, Geo and Red Mage use a lot of the same nuking gear. Plus, if I'm nuking on Geo, I probably wouldn't be... Uh, I would probably be on Scholar as well. And if I'm doing that, I'm probably on Tenebrae on Tank as well, so... That would work out the best, I think. Hey, Fistule. Fuckers. Still gonna cost me a fair amount of money though, which is kinda shitty, but it's just how it is. At least I have all my spells already, so I don't have to deal with that shit. Kinda happy with that. Getting these spells is actually fairly annoying. And a single drop to finish this off. Very fucking good. That's 50 fistule discharges. Let's warp out and turn that shit right in. The next one is Bookies, which is uh, arguably one of the most annoying ones. At least to kill the boss itself, like farming the Key items seems alright because all of them can be gotten from the um, from the chests. Should be fine now, I like that. Just don't equip your uh, regen gear. AKA go naked except for the hat. <laughs> Definitely does that. It's like it's more like seventy percent as well, I think, if you have job points. Depends on what you want to test. If you want to test how the HP interaction is, then use bug. If you want to test your code, then use ecliptic because you have to uh, test the uh, the tipping point. If that makes sense. Right, uh, wrong character. Astrilled and a bunch of fistual discharges. I think that's already gonna give us Gondiva, right? Yeah, it is. Cool. We officially have a Gondiva now. I can at least see what the bow looks like when I shoot it. I'm kind of curious about that. And technically, I can test the true shield range now as well. Uh, 2219, that should be correct. That's Bookie Swing times 50. 
which is probably going to be a little bit rough, but that's fine. I am definitely going to need a um, D-ring on wet as well if I want to go like that. Just drop our Mars orbs because I forgot about that earlier. There we go. Yeah, if you have it, you may as well. It's really good. It's fair enough. All right. Um, can't remember how to do that. that much. You never fucking know unless you try it out. This game is one big exception. <laughs> Not wrong. Oh nice, sold something already. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to sell at this point though. Roots. I don't really need those. Let's sell those as well. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh, I got some uh, disc slits. I think I'll eventually go for a enhancing set on someone else too, but I'm not sure on who yet. Family came over with a with a wardrobe. Just said, "Carry this upstairs for me, please." Nearly died. <laughs> um, <laughs> you okay, there, buddy? Doesn't storage, all right? Yeah, um, well, I mean, it does work, and it's probably the better way to do it, but you have to know where to push. And you have to really make sure that that doesn't happen. You have to be very careful with that shit. Uh, I think I'll go Ninja for the next one. God, I really want to try out this Gandiva, though. I just want to see what it looks like. I'm gonna do that real quick first. I'm curious. I should go Ninja for the next one though. If I'm uh, missing a key item, I can just get one that way. They didn't help? What the fuck? Why not? Alright, let's see. This should be about true shot range. Wow, that thing looks way different on the picture. Holy shit. Oh wait, that's probably because I have uh, this on. Yeah, wait. That was my Sparrowhawk, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a pretty bow, dude. Look at the way that thing looks. Look at the way it shrinks when I put it back in my uh, pocket. That is a pretty bow.
I like it. Kind of know want to know what the true shot range is, so I'm gonna test that out right away as well. I love the way that weapon skill looks. Has so much punch to it. So, I kind of want to know if it's at 12, if that's possible. Squarely. That means I'm a little bit off. I'll try 11.9 next and go from there. There we go. I hate that uh, Trust use Sentinel before aggroing something. Squarely. Let's try 11.8. Squarely. Let's try 11.7. Squarely still. 11.6. Still squarely. 11.5. Still squarely. 11.4. Point through three. There we go. Oh, shit died. That's not meant to happen. Type so play Paladin. That's how a Square Enix member plays Paladin, maybe. Alright, 11.4. Squarely. Let's do 11.2. Still squarely. 10.9. Still squarely. 10.4. Okay. 10.7. Strikes true, 10.8. Squarely, okay, so 10.7 to probably 9? Yeah, 10.7 away, and that's from the character model, unfortunately. It's not from their center of mass. Uh, which is actually a fortunately, because that is a lot further away. But 10.7 I have to take into account. It's good to know. As a pretty bow, though, I, I really like how it looks. It's really pretty. That does also mean it's a long bow, despite having a reasonable uh, delay, reasonably low delay. It's kind of weird because that's the same as a crossbow, actually. Longbow is 11.8, this is 10.7. Gandiva is proper strange. It's Gastra's delay. Oh, that's a lower delay though. Huh. I don't know then. Uh, let's go to Nork 2 and change jobs. Because I want to be on Ninja for this one. And let's continue the farm, I guess. Since we're uh, postponing Zeta for a while. Um, let's see, support job warrior, main job ninja. And if I recall correctly, that's the way to proc things. Yep. I am just gonna do this as well. I don't want uh, that to get in the way. My 
I'd make a pug dark. Why not? Fairly sure it's possible. I don't know how the magic uh, weapon skills uh, perform on dark, mostly. Oh, that reminds me, I need to check something. Rift draw cell? No, I already sold all mine. I needed to check if uh, there's any void feet up. There's one hand shard up though. Should probably get that. No void feet, unfortunate. How much is it? 550k. Yeah, I need a little bit of money on that character then. Actually, I can just buy it on this. Eighty K Infernal Sight. It's pretty insane. Let's uh, check it out. Infernal Sight. Is a hybrid or a magic weapon skill? Magic weapon skill. Three point five FTP. It's that's all right. Has no destat term. That's usually kind of bad, though. I'm sure that's more all of his buffs that he's getting than anything else, to be honest. The weapon skill itself doesn't, doesn't really look that good. Yeah, I'd say so. It's 3.5 FTP, which is kind of on the low side. Uh, it doesn't scale with it as well. It has high mods for 70% int and 30% strength. 100% total mod is pretty good. Um... Only a single hit though, can't double attack because it's not a hybrid. It has no destat term, which is usually a big part of the damage, uh, especially for shit like uh, True Flight and stuff. So I would say Raiki was definitely used there. Aim a day. Uh, uh, or Madsen, my bad. <laughs> Let's see. I do want this. I want that dispel. Even if it's just uh, a plus two piece, it's already getting that dispel, so it's worth getting. Need one more still though. Oh boy. Yeah, what you get? What you get? Oh no. Oh lord, oh no. You got dog shit, oh, okay. I wouldn't say thank god because that's uh, that's shitty to say, but... I had a feeling you were about to make me jealous, you know? Self-preservation. Yeah... Oh, so you, you did his trove as well? Uh-oh. Uh, okay, you're jealous as well. What did he get? <laughs> what did he get? Oh no. Loud third first chest. I'm not gonna... I, I don't like where this is going. I have yet to get an open body from that shit, by the way. I share a harness. That's exactly what happened to a friend of mine as well. He uh, didn't play for a while, but he lent his account to uh, a mutual friend of us. And she, for some reason, still did his uh, uh, silver vouchers every, uh, every month. So he popped back in and just got on a share like the first five minutes. Noobs get all the luck, I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's not as good anymore now. But still, that's that's quite something. I think I'm considered a noob too, though, since I got Uduk on the first key we did as a as an actual link shell. Uh, let's 
Chickner, right? Yeah, it's Chickner. That is sure. It's really nice. The uh, new set does make Ashira obsolete, but that sh that set is not easy to get either. So, especially for a new player. Besides the fact that it's pretty expensive. I think that's the only thing that I haven't seen yet, is a replacement for Shamash and a replacement for uh, Nisrock. <laughs> that triggers me. <laughs> Uh, you can actually use it, the asshole. I hate it. <laughs> still never... S I still... I haven't seen a Shira drop, but I have seen Dagon drop at least. And now I have seen Uduk drop as well, which is kind of funny. I wish I didn't see that one drop though, I'm not gonna lie. I could have done without that, that would have been fine to me. Alright, um, we need a couple of key items here. What's the best mob to AoE here? I think most people go to the crawlers, right? I need to check which ones I can build amber lights on as well. Had confusing, murderous, and what, what do you mean confusing? That's normal. Yeah, but you didn't do Jin or Gin or whatever the fuck you want to call him for five years straight, right? I was happy for him, but what a dickhead. <laughs> That's that's the general consensus when someone gets a drop there. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, let's see, Fern Girl. Which one's Amber? The last one. Uh, the Helter Skelter I can do. The Defagator. So that's that are. All right, we we can go to number six then I think. That's just SE messing with you, man. They, mo they made so much really good shit RNG like that. that. You can get it from fucking anywhere. It's so stupid. It's the same with... Uh, uh, what's that other thing? It was another thing that worked the exact same way. Oh, right. The uh, Bonanza thing now. And Bonanza in general, you can just get straight up get an ultimate weapon out of a Bonanza. That's stupid, dude. That would make more sense. That would make more sense. Alas, we can't have nice things. Oh shit, that's the wrong... Oh, that works, actually. I don't actually need Thief for most of this, I just need Thief for the actual fight itself. Get some TH. Uh, also, I should get keys. I don't have any keys with me, I think. I'm gonna get some keys. Completely forgot about that.
I'll uh, build some uh, embers meanwhile. If possible. I don't think pearls uh, matters that much. Pearls are still good to get if I uh, recall correctly. Definitely want Amber, so... Wait, why do I have... Is it a Bisha campaign right now? God damn it. Is that a thing right now? RNG is skill. I mean, you're not wrong. A certainly a certain ex inspector gadget seems to think so about that guy. Oh my god! Lol. Actual asshole as well. If he says that requires skill and he's a duper, what a dickhead! Ah, so dumb. I'm not surprised at all, though, that he's a duper. I believe that shit. That's <laughs> so stupid, man. I don't know if I can one shot with this. Oh, I can't. Rip. I got TP before he dies, though. Should be fine. There we go, a little bit more Ember Light. Hi. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna eat my sandwich real quick while uh, I build some amber lights, I guess. I actually know. Dented skull, I don't need that.
All right. <clears throat> I'm uh, building amber lights first before I do the actual cleaving part. Uh, it seems to be uh, be around 200 amber, where it would be ideal. Since that's the only uh, the largest chest, like the level five chests, are the only one that actually dropped the um, key items. According to Wiki, of course, but we'll try it out. If it doesn't work, we'll do something else. This might actually be uh, a good thing, by the way, the uh, current campaign. I mean, you get a lot of blue chests as well, but those can be time extensions too, so... I am done with Fistule, yeah. Which I'm very happy about. I officially have a Gondiva. <laughs> it looks actually really good, the uh, bow itself, like the skin. It looks really nice. Did some uh, testing for the True Shelt range as well, and seems to be around the crossbow range. Which is kind of interesting, because I didn't know that. I thought it'd be a longbow, but apparently not. Um, princely amount of cure, we don't care about that. Hey, yes. But yeah, I'm going to about about 200 Ember, and from there on out, I'm gonna start AoEing instead. Which means I should actually do this on Arp as well, I say. Kinda hope we can get time extensions, but doesn't look like it so far. Be hey, an ember light. Take those. Currently 120. Getting higher every kill at least, so that's kind of nice. Numerous attempts, we don't care about that. I'll take it. Kinda hope we can get some uh, time extensions rolling soon as well. Those are really nice. At least I don't lose my uh, um, amber lights every time that way.
Going for key item set? Yeah. I think that's it. There we go, time extensions. Another one. Keep them coming. Yeah, I don't really care about the career part. See, we're at 216 embers, so we should be able to uh, AoE from here on out and only get big boxes. Let's give it a go. We should not be able to get small boxes anymore. I don't really care about the dark ring, I don't think it's that good of a ring to begin with. I don't think it uh, has a lot of use anymore. It used to be a uh, quite a long while where it was useful though. There's just so many other better options now. Granted, most of those take money, but... There we go, let's see. Also fight Gargoyle Hand. Fuck it. Let's open that one. Not sure if I have that on this already. Guess not. Another big box. Lore Sabbat. Can destroy that one. And I'll open all of the uh, blue ones, I guess. They can't actually harm me, so... I don't want to test all of them, though. It takes ages. And there we go, got some time extensions, perfect. I wonder if there's uh, more mobs I want to AoE here. I could maybe pull the other guys to the uh, perks. Those usually aggro pretty well. I think this event might actually be really good for us. Revitalizer, don't care about that. about that either. The red boxes we don't need anymore, so we'll leave those alone. And a beautiful diamond ring. We don't need that either, though. Another time extension. 145 minutes right now. And uh, we got RTP back as well. I'll take it. This one's gonna take a, uh, a long time, I'm gonna start putting the other guys as well, the uh, P-Bucks. I'm not quite sure though. We'll see. There's no harm in pulling those regardless though. Especially since they aggro super easily. There we go.
stay there with Arp. While I pull the rest of these uh, crawlers as well. It's probably the easiest way to do this. Pull them a little bit closer. It uh, always takes some, tart, uh, some time to start up, but as soon as you're going, it's uh, usually a lot faster than the old-fashioned way. Kind of depends on whether you keep getting a key item that you already have, though. Because that can definitely happen. I was about to say that they survived that, but they did not. Hey, another one. Same one, though, so let's get that on Arb, I guess. See what else we got. Pulsating Soul Flayer Beard. I'm fairly sure I don't need that one though. I did a Taurus Nail and a Vampire Fang. I don't care about that. Now we don't care about that either. We'll pop some of these. And every time we get low on keys, we'll go back. And every time we get low on uh, time, we'll pop some more of the uh, blue ones. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't have 72 minutes left. It's so easy to do it like that. It's very convenient. Wait for the aggro. There we go. Let's round them all up. I guess I could go back on this guy to the pucks meanwhile. There's not really a reason not to. I think they're still down though. Yeah, they are. In which case, we'll do this uh, manually. I hear a cat. Yeah, she's uh, trying to get attention. She's uh, very meowy today. Hey, Jack. Poor thing. So nice to have that shit macroed. All right, that's that's a lot of time with extension. All right, we're. Pretty much over stream time if we stay this long, so I'm not gonna open blue chest anymore. May as well. I'll have to toss those things afterwards anyway. Uh, let's see if the uh, books are up. Usually the first time they repop takes a little bit longer than the rest of the times. So I'm not entirely sure why that is, but it seems to be an ambition mechanic. I just want to start making a dent into the uh, Bukas farm though. Especially since uh, the event actually does help us out a lot right now. I think till tomorrow I'll do an entire day of this. to get the uh, thing out of the way as fast as I can. Bookies is definitely not the worst one though. The one that comes after is the worst one by far. Let's see. Wind beat, we don't care about that. We don't 
care about that either. Uh, my plan is that I already have them. <laughs> uh, after this, uh, amb after I buy this ambu out, I'll have exactly 1500. I did some void watch farming until I didn't have void stones or void dust anymore uh, last time around. And I got, I think, about 300 from them, and the rest uh, I got through Ambu, and I just kept saving them up. So that part's pretty much done. The uh, Rift Cinder part, I'll be at 33, I think, so I'll, I will need to buy some of those. Uh, fortunately, though, that's, in comparison to the rest, that's not that bad. The uh, Riftborns I have none of right now though, so I'll, I'll need to make enough money to uh, buy those. It's gonna be about two and a half, uh, or 25 to 30 mil, depending on the, if someone else is buying as well. Which I do not have money for right now, so I should definitely start saving up a little bit for that. I need to make sure I don't uh, keep spending money and lose out on actually being able to use my Gandiva. Since that's obviously the end goal here, let's have a usable bow. I think it's gonna get those, yep. I always go a little bit of a different place so I don't have to uh, tap past all those other chests. It's kind of annoying to do. But yeah, we're fairly close to it actually. So the other option would be getting a harp uh, on Bard, but if I'm going to go Geo on her as well, I don't think it's uh, that important anymore since we actually do have a couple of harp Bards already in the Elixir shell. If we didn't have any, I would definitely go for harp here. Since we do, may as well uh, get a good damage option. I'll get that just in case I want to pop that some other time. I'm fairly sure I don't, but... What, my cat? <laughs> alright, alright, fair enough. Oh, that is a surprising lack of actual items I needed. Hey kitty cat, how are you doing? She's chilling. I'll bet the other one too, despite her being asleep. Wow, she is cold right now. Damn. Hey, why is so cold? Okay. I guess it's a little bit cold here in general. Probably end up pulling the pucks like once every two pulls or something. I guess that's a, a decent idea. Cause these are a lot easier to pull. A little bit more crowded. Ooh, lots of them. Another diamond ring. Not even gonna check those. They used to be a uh, best in slot for magic attack bonus, but that's not really the case anymore, so. I mean, I guess. 
Are they NPCable? I guess they are. They're like 6k each or something. If I recall correctly. I think the uh, scythe was one of the expensive drops. I'm fairly sure it doesn't drop in this one. Dark rings are legit money. How much are the diamond rings then? You've piqued my curiosity. Like if I make a little bit of money on the side here, it wouldn't be a bad idea probably. Another few Riftborns I don't have to uh, work for. Works. But yeah, this is the main problem I have with um, the AoE method of getting key items. Like, I could have popped, I think, two bosses by now. But because I don't have the key items I wanted, I'm not getting them. So it matters pretty much entirely on that. It's just RNG whether the uh, where the other method is kind of guaranteed, if it makes sense. But you do have to wait for uh, a time spawn the entire time, which is also kind of annoying to do. That and some walking around, I guess, but the walking around part is not that bad for this one in particular. Alright, let's see this one first. Any Miskema. Don't need those anymore. Revitalizer again. Imbrut Vampire Fang, that's the one I wanted. You already possess that key item, that's good. So we have two of the timed spawn uh, ones now. Let's hope that that one has one as well. Unfortunate, but that's okay. I have about half a stack of keys left. I start with one, so... That's decent enough. I think one stack for... Well, probably about two stacks if I do a full day session. Should be enough. It's right next to it, but... Yeah, I could do that for sure. I probably should at this point. But uh, that would still mean that I need to farm the other two manually, if I do that. Which is more guaranteed, but it's also kind of annoying to do. So I'm not sure which, uh, like I'm still searching in how I'm gonna do this, and what the best way is. If I am missing just a vampire one, that one is the easiest to do because I don't have to farm a pop for it. I can just run there and it's there. Because the other one I still have to find a pop for first. There we go. Ooh, lots of goldies. I can't really NPC often here as well, because I'll lose all my lights. It's uh, something I'm thinking about now too. Also fight Gargoyle Hand. That's one of the ones we need. There we go.
I'll get that one as well. I don't think it's really necessary, but may as well build uh, that pop too. All right, let's see. Find all imbruets. Find all. Let's see the other one. Also fight. Find all toenail. I don't have the toenail yet. Yeah, that's the one I'm missing. Not sure where the rest is at. I don't have the uh, Vampire Fang on the Tenebra either. Yeah, I'm missing just the toenail on uh, Tenebra and on Arboma right now. I've got the also fight on everyone now, I think. Yeah, I do. So we're missing two key items on Tenebra and one each on Arboma. Now what we could do is finish those off and get the the one time spawn out of the way for Tenebra, which is probably the right move here. Unfortunately, the and then that we need to kill for it is actually kind of annoying. But I guess that's whatever. Yeah. That's probably a good idea then. Alright, let's bring these two fuckers. Sneak up, then this up. And the way we're going to do this is we'll um, kill the vampire first. And then kill three of those other guys after the uh, minotaurs. Ingrown Taurus Nail, which one is that actually from? That is from the Minotaur, right? Yeah, it is. I need a Gnarled Taurus Horn times three. So let's AOE those, I guess. Which is right next to number four, which is kind of convenient. Board Farney is a little bit further. We can do one AOE first and go from there to uh, Lord Farney. I think that's a good idea. Because we do want to proc him as well. I want to aggro him on Tenebra. Uh, I'm not sure if I can actually AoE these with Scholar, but we'll see. We'll try. If that doesn't work out, I'll just AWE them with Arboma instead, because I am 100% sure that Wind does actually work against these guys. I'm just uh, a little bit worried about the darkness working. I do a lot more damage than last time I was here as well though, so that's gonna be better. I didn't have any Amalric pieces or whatever back then. Alright, let's uh, move these to Varney. Let's hope we get three pop items as well. The way we're going to do that is by applying TH to all of these. Before we AoE them. As long as we get three pop items, we're pretty much, uh, we're pretty much good. That's all we need. I'm gonna read up real quick on how that Taurus and M works because I'm fairly sure it can actually kill me via an instant death move. Alright. That does kill the pack, that's good. More than enough pop items it seems. Or 
perfect. Uh, not bookies, the uh, other one. Let's fight Gargle Hand. I'm fairly sure we're full of those now. Can try and get it on uh, Tenebra, but I'm fairly sure I already have one. That's how it is, I guess. Part of the game. The other one is doomed too. Shimmering Pugil scale. May as well open it up. That one doesn't really matter though. Yeah, that makes sense. Magic damage is also so much stronger than uh, physical damage on that guy. Like magic damage just straight up destroys him. Alright, let's do Lord Farney first. I should aggro that on Wet. So let's give Wet some Sneakerino, I guess. I'm gonna disable my main sub first, so I don't lose uh, TP all of the time. I honestly have no idea where Farney is right now, so let's check that out too. There he, there he is. Didn't get too many ads, so that's a good thing as well. Uh, may as well get Sylvie out on this guy. Skill. No read. Second weapon skill. Darkness. Let's try Scythe first. Shin kill the shit. Uh, we should get the key item there. Yes, we did. Perfect. That's three nearly full key item sets. I'll all I have to do now is uh, pop the NM a couple of times, which the pop for is here, it seems. Alright. Perfect. Um, for this guy, I will stay in Light Arts. Also get QPP out just in case. There it is. Should get Jerry Cookie. Uh, let's start with Bull Arm, why not? Just want to make sure that I uh, don't get fucked over here. Doom, and there is the Nuspel spell that will hopefully remove it. There we go. I'm 
also fair that wasn't a clean weapon skill. Uh, light. Okay, let's try Tachigoki first. Spare round slow. Right, that's fair enough then. Doesn't appear to be great katana. Let's try club next. I love this thing. It's so funny. Let's go staff next. Or we'll try sunburst, and after that we'll go to sword. Didn't seem clean, I'll try that one again. Just in case. There we go. I had a feeling. That's the first key item out of the way. Second key item. Um, fairly sure we need to wait until the question marks up, though. But that's okay. So mostly the imbrute vampire fangs I want to AOE. I think the other ones are just really easy to get, regardless. I think that's what we're gonna go for. Start with dagger again. I got the um, full Abyssia Red Proc on Ninja really early on. Like as soon as I was level 99 Ninja, I had all of those items. I just know how fucking useful it is. Makes any NM hunting here so much, so much better. There are people that do it without Red Proc as well, which is just insane to me. <laughs> no, thank you. Go trade the gnarled Taurus horn. Provoke it. A little bit of hate as well. And it starts. Earth Elemental Weapon Skills, that is a really easy one. Let's go straight to Staff. It's only one Earth Elemental Weapon Skill. Which is Earth Crusher. There we go. I know that uh, list pretty much by heart right now, by the way. It's kind of funny. Alright, there we go. That's the second key item. Let's get the last one on Tenebra now. I wonder if the bats here still die to a cataclysm. It might actually be easier to pull. But yeah, that's almost uh, three pops right there. That's a nice thing about this though. Like, if you do it this way, at least you can do three pops in a row instead of doing one pop every 20 minutes. Like, this would usually take one hour to do, so we're pretty much on schedule right now, including the amber farming. It's kind of stupid that it works that way. I think Bookies only has Doom, right? Does he have a non-removable Doom? That's the real question, I'm not sure about that one. 
I'm guessing he doesn't, though. And if all else fails, I can just kite him on the uh, scholar anyway. Is not a gaze attack, turning around does nothing. Alright, fair enough. Should be able to kill it before it matters. Oh, for sure. I think uh, the biggest problem uh, about that is I want to proc TH as well. Sure, I'm on the correct weapon. Need to proc it first. Darkness. It's definitely not this one. Definitely not that one. Definitely not that one. Oh, what? Well, it might actually be dagger. I think energy steel is one of them. Oops. I'll do that one last, I guess. Oh, never mind. Ah, that's all good, we got it. Right, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and then we'll do uh, three times spookies. It's going pretty well though. I feel like this one's gonna be better than uh, Fistule for sure. Which I'm already really happy with. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's see this through then. Um, get some sneak up here. My high she is already out, so that's good. Is there any of the Paladin uh, JSC that I don't have to plus three? Uh, I'd say most of it. I think AF body is really good. I think uh, Relic Hands plus 2 is very good. You don't have to plus 3 that one, but you can if you want to. And the one Relic item that I that you kind of must plus 3 is uh, the uh, feet for sure. I don't think the rest is used that much, to be honest. Like, there are macro pieces, and that's about it. No, I'd, I'd say uh, Relic plus 3 boots are actually... You, you need those, like that is a pretty hard requirement and I've been a slacker for not having them. In my opinion. Alright, let's go for it. Fair 
There's the TH proc. Uh, this guy's a lot healthier than I thought he would be. There's the Doom. Let's try and get rid of that right away. That's doable. Yeah, but the um, the Sentinel duration increase on Relic plus three is only uh, like it's tied to your upgrade level on it. That makes sense. Ooh, two wings. Good start. Uh, we don't really care about the rest of that stuff. I just want the wings. All right, there should be more of these. Uh, Feint isn't up for the next one until I unless I wait for a minute though. So I'm I'm gonna wait for that. I think. I want to get the TH proc properly. Even if it is only a minor increase. There we go. But yeah, it uh, basically it's, uh, I think, plus five seconds on Sentinel per upgrade as well. Apart from the augment. So it ends up being a 65% or 65 second sentinel instead of a 30 second one. So that's pretty fucking massive. I should have done that such a long time ago. Ten. See if that's worth anything. Uh, it is. It is. At least I think it is. Wait, no, no, you got me fucking doubting as well. It's not? Oh, it's... Oh, whoops. I mean, it's still good, I'd say. It's still a longer time of being invulnerable, so that's pretty good. I thought it was uh, duration. My bad. Well, yeah, obviously it's a macro piece either way, though. Well, only need plus one, but I, I still argue that plus three is actually worth getting there. Because you get the uh, DT effect for a lot longer that way. No, no, what it does is it, um, so it starts at 100% damage taken and it gradually goes down, right? So what it does, it, it takes the uh, first damage taken to like 115% or something like that. At least higher, I'm not sure exactly how high. And uh, goes down from there, so you get the 100% uh, less damage uh, for a longer time, if that makes sense. I oh, remember. Don't really need more DT. I mean, it's free, so... I'd still argue that's useful. I guess. I guess. Not gonna lie, getting three of these uh, 
Knocking three of these out right away actually feels really good. So fuck dynamics. I mean, you don't really need to do fight dynamics for it, right? Are you actually wait? Are you farming your relic? The fuck? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I was about to say. No, I thought you were farming like an actual relic. I was like, wait, what? Cray. Uh, I'll try one AoE of these guys. See if it works out. I'm not quite sure if I can one shot these on Scholar though. But I, I want to stay here for Varney anyway. For the uh, yeah, there he is. Let's get these in first. Let's try to one shot them and we'll uh, kill Farney right after. Perfect. I guess that's uh, more than enough damage at 3k. Might not actually be that much over. 16k is pretty low. Farmed one relic and it took me two weeks. Again, why? Why would you do that to yourself? You masochist. I mean, sure, we're all masochistic here, but not like that. Yeah, but still, that doesn't excuse you. <laughs> uh, I'll put them on Tenebra, actually. May as well. Start with full arm. Excuses. I think this guy does actually have a charm by the way, so I need to be a little bit careful. Speaking about which... Just in case we could re-raise up. Sylvie die? Oh shit, she did. Uh, in that case, I should get rid of Goltada as well. Wasn't Jinpu either. Epoch is still so good, man. Such a good weapon. The funny thing is, it doesn't even do that little damage. It honestly does, like, the damage is honestly fine on it. Especially considering the effect. Alright, it's Light Elemental at least, so let's uh, just skip a lot of those then. as well. Epoch Trials can't be that bad though, can they? It really is, isn't it? It's like, yeah, thank you, fuck off. <laughs> 
Uh, that actually does feel really good. Alright. Let's go to the sword. Any trials I hate. Annoying missing at one hit. Yeah. I mean, if you go through Bird Gang, you can go through fucking at the. or, uh. Epoch Trials, right? I mean, come on. Big W. Okay, that's still got the uh, correct burst and the key item at least, so that's good. Alright, let's go up. I just want to go pew pew on the weapon trials or like a cock block. For me, it's more like I got through the trials and I can I, I can finally use the thing and it feels good because I worked for it. I guess we don't all have that, huh? Um, I could stay in AOE here, I guess. These are side-based though, so they're kind of annoying to uh, round up. Just want to use and enjoy it. They're such a zoomer, dude, come on. I want my gratification instantly! I don't want to work for this. Such a zoomer, dude. Such a spoiled generation. <laughs> I actually like saying that because it's like the opposite of true, where a lot of zooms are pretty much fucked. <laughs> like they have so many mental issues usually. Oh, it did start to... Oh, fuck. I should do that as well. I don't want to do that. Why did you say that? Now I know I'm missing out as well and I can't pretend that I forgot. Oh, nice. Vampire Fang. That's two of them already. Pretty good. Let's see if we can get any... Uh, also fight things as well. Not on this one. Alright, let's go back top. Uh, I think it was AB6. Gen Z is trying to cancel M and wait, why are they trying to cancel M and M? What? Yeah. Old things he said in raps. Like what? I don't think I've heard a single mainline M and M rap with the N word in it. And in general, he's fairly anti-racism and all that kind of shit as well. Like, I'm not saying he's a god, a god amongst men or whatever, but he does seem like uh, a person that tries to be a good person, if that makes sense. He has said the n-word once. We should shoot him, dude. Put him against the wall. Fucking kill that guy. Did he though, or did he just, uh, you know, say the alternative F word? <laughs> because if, if that's all he did, that's more of an insult not towards gay people, but just towards people in general. There's so many misconceptions, to be honest. It's just a fucking word, man. Who gives a shit? Why, why care? <laughs> I 
That's definitely true. Oh nice, another Imbrute Fang. We're done with that one. Uh, so we could do the other ones the old-fashioned way. Since uh, that's the time spawn out of the way. I feel like we need enough key items still that it's worth AoEing though. Cleaning out my gloves was a good fucking song by the way, that shit's a banger. I don't know, man. It's I find it just a really weird target with some someone who has been so in the public eye, at least anti-racism, anti-Trump, anti that kind of shit. I don't think that's fair at all. Plus, how much racism does that guy have to endure as well as a white rapper? Let's be honest here. I am fairly fucking certain that he's getting uh, a lot of racism from the other side as well. Not that that makes it better, but like, he knows... I think he knows what racism actually does to a person, and how shitty it is. If you insult me, you insult me. Is there any MP I can skip farming? On Paladin? Uh, you just need to feed, I think. That's about it. I don't think you need anything else. Another Pugil skill. I think I'm gonna destroy those from now on, right? Actually, fuck it, I'll open it. don't actually know who I can get this on still. On this guy, apparently. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> it's dumb, dude. It's dumb. I think it's like part of the whole, I went through it, so you have to go through it uh, too, that people have. Like, it does feel like a lot of people have that mentality. It's really shitty. Aren't you a Zoomer too? We can be Zoomer friends. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> God, I really don't want to do that gargoyle. It's actually shitty. He can one-shot me with that stupid ass spikes move he does. I don't fucking know, dude. It's just, it's just weird to me. That's why a weird champ got born. I'm sure of it. Oh, I think I need to manually kill that guy. People should leave their house. I don't think that's possible right now, my friend. <laughs> that's like part of the problem. Pe Zoomers don't have anything to do, so they do what they do best, and that's cancelling people. Oh my god, lol. It's like it's a fucking pastime. Yo, 11 should get cancelled, the amount of racism on this game. Everyone calling me a long neck? Fuck that, dude. I ain't not a long neck. I'm just built different. Uh, yes. Kalka's existing? Fuck that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, 
uh, might I add, it's quote-unquote lockdown. It's not just lockdown. It's not an actual lockdown, which means the entire lockdown is useless. It's super fucking annoying. Like, if they actually lock everything down properly, like, people can't leave their fucking house for a month and just get sent food packages or something like that, I'd be all for that shit, because at least after a month we can get out the fucking door again. Also, I don't fucking understand why all the borders are just open here in the Netherlands during a lockdown, and why people can just fly in and fly out of the Netherlands as well without any repercussions. How the fuck is that a thing whilst on a lockdown? That is the first thing you lock down. It is absolutely retarded. And yes, I am mad. <laughs> You, you literally may as well not have one. It is so fucking dumb, dude. I hate my government so fucking much for that. I'd rather have no lockdown than this, just because it's it doesn't do anything. It doesn't reduce any spread at all. There's literally no, re no reason to do this. And I'm, of, I'm all for a lockdown. Like, I really am. But God damn, dude. Grow a fucking brain. Sorry, I'm just really angry with those people. By the way, we don't have term limits either, so the same guy has been Minister President for like 12 years now and is fucking retarded. How is closing borders race? That is not a racist thing. You do it for every race. People just don't know what fucking racist that is anymore, man. Jesus. How can you call closing a border racist? It's not. You're not closing the border. You know what's racist? If you close the border uh, border only against black people. That's fucking racist. Or only against brown people. Or only people from a certain background or whatever. That shit's racist. If you close the border, that's, there's nothing racist about that shit. No, no, I'm just talking like in the... People do actually think that, which makes me angry. Fucking anything makes me angry, but, you know, toxic streamer, by the way. <laughs> uh. It's so dumb, dude. I just... I wish there were some competent people on the planet that, that wanted to go in politics. And there, there's, like, one, and I'm fairly sure he's just kicked out the moment he gets in. <laughs> I hate it, man. I, I really do. It's the same fucking issue with housing here, by the way. Literally, the, the reason why people can't afford homes anymore is because of politics. The amount of rent we pay here is fucking insane. And it's not even the worst country out there as well. I'd be an awesome politician. I mean, it's kind of easy to be an awesome politician. Just go through this checklist. Do you snort coke? Yes. Do you snort a lot of it? Yes. Do you have extremist worldviews? Yes. Congrats. You'll do great. See? Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, the whole South Park thing, uh, if anyone remembers those episodes, be choosing between a turd sandwich and, and a giant douche, man, truest words ever spoken. <laughs> Texas is fucking scared of some frozen water. It's like, ah, it's frozen! Let's crash our cars in a hundred car pile <laughs> Oh, fucking retards. I love it. <laughs> we need South Park humor back in real life? No, we need South Park humor to stop being in our real life. That's the problem here. I don't want my South Park humor IRL. No thank you. I want to keep that nice and snuggled up inside the television and only there. 
Nowhere else. Wait, what? I didn't, I didn't read that part. Thousand, but at least he isn't actually opening up the state and being a racist douche canoe and trying to blame the inevitable. Oh, yeah, like that. Spent the winter in New York, so I know how to handle the driving. Uh, it's fairly easy, to be honest. Drive a little bit slower and drive faster only if you think it is the correct thing to do. Just start out slow and don't speed through with, like, what do you guys use? Miles, right? 70 miles an hour? Don't do that. As long as you don't do that, you seriously can't make that many mistakes anymore. <laughs> That's one plow. <laughs> For the entire... Oh god. Oh god. Hey, but to be fair towards Texas, at least you guys have your own power grid, right? Oh. Oh, right. Never mind. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Money well spent. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Every time people... Uh, like, I, I notice a lot of people from Texas don't like being called stupid, and I just pull some shit like that, and it's like... Come on. <laughs> yeah, that was that was fucking retarded. The um the price price gouging of uh of that shit. That was legit fucking awful. Even on people that had a plan as well, it's crazy. Like that's just flat out fucking illegal, right? I think I have another fucking vampire thing now, god damn it. Alright, let's uh, start A-Wing at the other place, I guess. Yeah, this isn't doing too hot now. Our problem is the potholes, they don't fix them. They, they'll plow to it green and we don't uh, like die, but the potholes are bad. First world country, huh? We should cancel... Cancel culture? Bring back fun? How do you how do you want to do that? I need a plan. You can't just willy nilly do that shit. You need a solid plan for this. Well, nobody likes being called stupid, but if you so in the wise words of one of the most retarded people in the pla on the planet, stupid is if stupid does. And when people keep voting for stupid, you're gonna be called stupid. That's how it is. And I feel sorry for the people that don't vote stupid but keep getting stupid. Like, that shit really sucks and I, I honestly know the feeling and I kind of hate knowing that feeling. But god damn, dude. We have to do better as a, as a species at this point. We're doing really shit right now. I think at this point it's not not a case of voting anymore though. I think it's a case of fucking overthrowing. I don't I don't see a way of dealing with this unless you do it forcefully. I really do. And that's that sounds extremist extremist as hell, but I honestly do not think people the wrongdoers here care about policy at all. And if they're never gonna like feel their uh, incompetence then there's, like, what holds them from doing it again, right? If that makes sense. Democracy. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not too sure about that one anymore. I'd say yes, but I think there's too many stupid people on the planet for that. 
I think you should at least know your fucking ABCs before you're allowed to vote, that's for sure though. And I don't mean by uh, coupling that to an IQ test or whatever, because there's plenty of people who either do well or do terribly on those despite their knowledge. I more mean like, do you know which, uh, who stands for who, and do you know uh, what this uh, party tries to do and what that party tries to do, that kind of stuff. Like, if you can't fill in a simple quiz, you're just not allowed to vote because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. I still don't know my ABCs. Always be casting, dude. My girlfriend gets pissed because she was for Biden. I'm guessing she's not anymore then, huh? <laughs> Honestly, the gas prices in America were really cheap uh, in comparison to the Netherlands, so for me it's like, well, I mean, that's what you pay for that. That's normal. <laughs> Already did that. Yeah. Maybe it's uh, just a better idea to get rid of at least the overcoupling companies, uh, companies like uh, the DNC and stuff and the GOP because, let's be honest, they are a very big part of the problem as well. Specifically the DNC at this point. They are Republican as fuck. I'm not saying Republican is automatically a bad thing, I'm just saying it's Republican versus Republican. So how the fuck do you even get a vote as a Democrat? Shit's retarded. Uh, I only need one of those, I think, but I'll get all of them for later pops. Alright, I'm not sure if I can actually kill these with uh, Cataclysm. I guess we'll just try. And if it doesn't work, we'll just uh, kill them with Alien Edge instead. I think there is a difference. One's secretly Republican and the other one's batshit insane Republican. <laughs> Sandy wouldn't have hit if we had that wall built. <laughs> I like that one. Man, we just need more guns so we could have shot Sandy away. Equal energy right there. I don't know, man. Why is it so funny, dude? Why is it so funny? It really is funny. Running around the hurricane fast enough to refer to passing. <laughs> Yo, why are you so smart? How did you get so smart, dude? Uh, let's see. Start with this thing. Oh, I don't have one on this. Damn it. I probably should have TH'd it. Whoops. Hello. 
So, this guy I need to be a little bit careful for. Uh, mostly because of his spikes. You can actually get like a 5k spikes in one attack round off if you're not careful. I used to be the kid who did that. So the reason we got the uh, hurricane is because you stopped, right? Why did you stop? I think everyone has uh, their own opinions on this, and that's completely okay. Oh, Light Elemental, whoops. Yeah, that's that's the part I need to be careful about, that move. He basically has like a Pain Sink-esque kind of uh, thing going. Look like it hit. Hurricanes are never made in the US, therefore all hurricanes are immigrants. Five head. If we bomb the, Uri the hurricane inside the US, we win the war. That would probably work, to be fair. All fairness to Trump, I think that will work. I think that solves most of the world's problems right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I wish it weren't so. Uh, Alright, got the gargoyle to handle this guy. That's so dumb, it might work! <laughs> it's like the catchphrase of America right there. <laughs> I love how even the Americans in chat, like, we can all shit on America together and have a good time doing it. It's kind of funny. Like, there's plenty of people that are good at shitting on their own country, but Americans are the best at it, by far. I guess there is a lot of stuff to shit on, though, so... They have an easier time doing it. <laughs> Good memes, dude. Good memes. Is that just a statement, or is there anything else coming after that said it? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but just... Trying to gauge what the uh, what the overall use of that statement is. <laughs> we are the most wealthy country in the world with some of the most asinine problems. It is kind of crazy, isn't it? I like how it's like considered a wealthy country, but if you ask like a person, "Are you wealthy?" Ninety-nine percent of the time, it's like, "No, hell no, I'm poor as fuck." That's fucked up, man. <laughs> no, we're fat, that's it, alright. <laughs> that's fair enough. Oh my god, I hate Terror Eyes so much. <laughs> I hate that move, it takes so long. The floor space? No, the Dutch. You owe money to the Dutch. Give me the money, please. I think every country has a lot of debt, to be honest. There's not many countries that don't have it. A 
It's a balance of power more than an actual like straight up depth thing though. That's uh, the best way to look at it, I think. It's not like an actual depth that you pay off. Stop hitting. I don't even have that much multi attack. The fuck. But yeah, I don't don't hit through that move. You will die. You'd say like, oh yeah, but I have magic evasion, but no, it doesn't matter, you'll die. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, 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 South China is uh, Taiwan, right? Because according to China, Taiwan doesn't actually exist. That is considered China as well. It's fucking funny. Uh, just trade up doesn't exist. What? Taiwan? What is that? Oh, you mean South China? Yeah. Why don't you so just say so? It's kind of funny how that came to fruition as well, by the way, because apparently the way uh, Taiwan was founded is that it actually was a part of China. And they wanted to be independent, China said no, and a bunch of them just fucked off with uh, a lot of the crown jewels of China. <laughs> just started a really wealthy country uh, in Taiwan. <laughs> just by fucking yoinking China shit. <laughs> Which is like, <laughs> that's the biggest fuck you to an ex-boss you can have. <laughs> Just rob his entire office and fuck off. <laughs> it's fucking funny to me, man. Like, all the power to them, man. Fucking chads. <laughs> no, no, most people, most people there do, because that's what they're getting fed, right? Like, you are not allowed to think that it's the other way around. If you actually say that, you're in fucking trouble. So it's like a brainwashed in kind of thing. But it, it is pretty fucking funny that it does work that way. Like, I, I find that fucking hilarious. Alright, let's at least see if uh, any of these have a key item in it. Not that one. Not that one. Oh. Ingrown Tar Snail. Do I still need one of those? I do, nice. Don't have to do that one either then. That's very ideal. I can tark the thing, of course. I think I have uh, one of these though. Uh, ingrown tower snail, find ingrown. Yeah, that's uh, three full pops, very nice. Gotta get a second monitor. Uh, I gotta get money, you mean? I don't have money for that shit. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, isn't it? Love the setup you have going here. Thanks, man. Yeah, that is actually kudos to both sides because there's a lot of hostility there as well. Got a $60 monitor. You assume I have $60. I don't have any money to uh, spend right now. Done an IQ test. Oh boy, here we go. Came back below national average. That says something in England. <laughs> I 
Wait, you thought China was in Europe? <laughs> uh, wow. Um, I don't know how to respond to that one. Uh, it's going pretty well today. We've uh, farmed Fistule and we're done with that one. So we're doing Pookies now. Making a Gandiva. Should try one of those uh, myself. You know what a f uh, the problem is with IQ tests though? Oh, please don't aggro. Fuck. I don't want to aggro that guy. I want to get his key item like right after. Shit. I'll wait until he moves, I guess. Should probably update your monthly goal. It still says Gandifa or Harp, right? I think it does. Yeah. I'm not sure which one I'm doing. You're not sure which one I'm doing. Maybe, maybe I am. Maybe I am doing uh, harp. You don't know that. Maybe I'm just unlocking Jishnu's here. <laughs> just remove her the blah blah <laughs> from the monthly goals, you heathen. <laughs> I fucking love that word, by the way, heathen. God damn it, he aggroed me from. Fuck you, Varney. Fuck you. Okay, he aggroed Arbonmon, so that's the first one we're gonna do. We don't stand for that shit though, Varney. I'm gonna spawn this guy anyway. I don't know if I'm able to though. Maybe. Uh, we'll need to kill these first though. Start with that. I don't know if this is possible. I don't know if we can uh, do this like this. All right, I'll slap him once. Should be able to, yeah, I think so too. Just have to do it really fast in between hits. There we go. Oh my god, he attacks fast, okay. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, let's try that out. Did it even hit him? He might be immune to that shit, actually. Yeah, he's immune. Rip. Uh... Wait. I don't have bind on me, I think. Since I'm slash white mage. Do I get bind as uh, dark arts addendum? I don't think I do, right? Nope. Don't get gravity that way either. Nope. You know what? I have an idea. Haha, <laughs> five head. Uh, no, I can't. I'm uh, on the ninja. Wait, I don't have all. Which one am I missing? How did I not get an ossified? What? I procked it, right? Did I not pop that? I don't think I popped that. God damn it, I'm a fucking idiot. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm a ninja. But yeah. You can laugh at me either way, I'm an idiot. Whatever. Smirth, shut up. <laughs> I'll just AoE all of these, I guess. And probably pull Varney away for the AoE, so he doesn't die. Uh, <laughs> I, I swear I popped it. <laughs> In my head I did, okay. Say ninja again. What do you mean? Do I say that weird? I don't say that weird. 
Farney is not a quitter. This fucker honestly just gravy got me. I think it hit on both of my scholar and oh my god, dude. Oh my god, it actually hit on both of those. God damn it. All right, we can we can fix this. I have a race. Farney, you're an asshole, dude. Not gonna lie. Wait, does he say Nina? <laughs> what? <laughs> does he actually? That's pretty funny to be honest. Isn't that a name in his, uh... Oh, fuck. Farney, why do you have to be such an asshole? Why? Why do you do this to me? Alright, this guy can stand here for now. Let's actually kill these. Let's go on this guy. Go on dagger. Pop the dumbass on him. At least it's the only uh, one I'm missing, that's for sure. Oh, he says Ninja. Uh, that's pretty much the way you say it in Dutch as well, but Dutch uh, is not the same as English pronunciation, so I try to adjust as best as I can at least, because my pronunciation is definitely not great either. Yeah, that actually did damage uh, to good PP. But yeah, in Dutch it's uh, Ninja as well. It's not even Nin, it's uh, Nin. I am not getting this. No read so far, and that's actually kind of obnoxious. Still nothing. I'm sure, we'll get there eventually. Oh shit! God damn it! <laughs> I forgot about Terra. Right? God damn it! I hate that move so much, man. <laughs> it's actually, uh, it's the worst, dude. Just stand still for thirty seconds. I think that's the most obnoxious move uh, gargoyles actually have. Like, they have a lot of annoying moves, but Terra is by far the worst. Just turn forehead. Alright, still no reads. Shadow burst. Oh, that's why it's a curse. Okay, that makes sense. Still no read though. That was kind of insane. Alright, let's stop attacking now. Or we actually do die. Still nothing. Make your own, dude. Come on. Wow. I feel like I'm uh, just not gonna get this proc at all. I'll never understand Lua sharing, man. Like, knowing what to get off of 
or what to use or whatever, sure, but... QPB, can you stop hitting him? Wait, it's frozen. It's frozen like this. God damn it. That might actually be a problem. Okay, never mind. It's these spikes that kill you then. Alright, that's fine. Let's go to the uh, other guy. I actually have my shit now. Uh, provoke. Let's keep that on ARP for now. I'll AoE the other ones at camp. <laughs> my other cat just dragged her toy right in front of my chair and is looking at me. <laughs> And there's the meow. <laughs> hey there, little one. You wanna play? <laughs> Aww. She dragged her toy with her as well. Poor kitty. I wanna play with her, man. Feel bad. No, that's, that's his way of saying it's actually a lot of fucking trouble to translate the entire thing. I'm sure if, if you want it, he can share it as is, but it probably wouldn't be usable. Okay, let's go here and let's do a Diaga there. Got all of the mobs on wet except for Lord Farney. Oh, well, there goes Lord Farney. Not exactly what I was going for, but that means my hate is really low, so that's good. Let's check out any golden chests we got. We got three of them. sure that we're in light arts we are uh, let's pop the big boy single drop but that's all right now let's proc this asshole I don't even use bots slight doubt there Bookies is annoying yeah it's all right it's not the worst but definitely not the uh, least annoying either We got Farney right away, so that's nice. Scripts are pretty much the same, yeah. <laughs> that's alright though. Oh, look. Uh, 
Uh, only one drop, but that's fine. Stand here. Let's pop on Tenebrand next. Let's make sure we can trick attack too. Work at. Alright, after the third bookies I'm gonna play a little bit with my cat because she's she's really whiny and I I love her, you know. I just wait, what? I don't think that's what he meant. Hey there. Yeah, I know. Another single drop. That's not what I want to see. Oh, whoops. Can we uh, hit this curse now, please? Thanks. Uh, let's see, there is one more here. That. And let's stand like this. Uh, we can give it a go tomorrow. It's good money. Yeah, they are pretty much the same thing. I don't think there's a lot of uh, difference there as well, personally, but to each their own uh, way of saying that, I guess. Does uh, Agent actually say that he doesn't use bots then? Because that would be kind of ridiculous. A macro you can only make six lines, so but yeah, technically it is. And a script you can at least uh, make it infinitely repeat as well, which you can't do with a macro. So I'd say scripts are bodier than macros. All right, I'm gonna play with Cat for a little bit here because she is very uh, <laughs> adamant about it. Oh, poor thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's because of that, but I'm fairly sure he had a different reason for being banned. Hey. Alright, let's play. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I swear, if you, if you toss a toy down... Uh, down a cliff, a cat would just jump after it. They do not fucking think like, hey, where am I gonna be in one minute or, or one second if I jump here? It just fucking jump, dude. <laughs> mm, crazy little thing. Huh? Come here. Your toy is stuck to your nail. <laughs> Uh, I never thought I would be a cat person, by the way. I really didn't. And I still don't feel like I am, but I did definitely melt for these two. Eh? You crazy thing. The other one's just fucking sleeping in her basket. Doing the max chill. Alright. He was not banned for that. I guarantee it. 
I do not believe he was banned for that at all. Alright, fair enough. You want some attention too? Yeah, sure, why not? Yawn. Yeah, exactly. The other one's happy with her toy in her basket, uh, in the other basket now, the cat tower. She's like, yeah, I got played with, I'm cool now. No, but his his reasoning was um, that he got banned because he used that glitch. But even if he did use that glitch, he would have uh, written a book reported about about it as well, which is not against terms of service, as far as I know. I don't think they would ban him for that shit. I honestly think bad mouthing SE would get you banned before that shit. Oh, there's one alive. Fuck you. But I can't see shit. There we go. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think that's bullshit. I think if anything, he'd get banned for using Anchor on stream. That's my guess. But it's all up to speculation anyway, since uh, that's the way SE does its bans. Which in my opinion is uh, not very good. Wait, <laughs> did he? Maybe that's why, as he is pretty uh, no tolerance about bullying Japanese people. <laughs> if you're American, you get bullied, doesn't fucking matter to them, but hands off the JP community. Come on, I grow already. There we go. Yeah, same here. I, I am 100% sure he didn't get banned because of that. My guess is still Anchor, but... Because using that constantly on stream, that's just not a great idea. Good morning. Or in my case, a good day. Yeah, SE lo loves its uh, Japanese community more than anything, so if you mess with those, uh, that's probably gonna get you a ban. It's kind of stupid like that, but... That's how it works on uh, 14 as well. There's plenty of people who were uh, duped and didn't get banned. There's a few in chat that I know uh, duped as well, so... I don't think that's it either. Who said I was talking about you? I'm not gonna say who it is, obviously, but I know there's plenty of people who did it that didn't get banned, so I don't think that's it either. Even if he did dupe, and if he did, let's be honest, he deserves to ban anyway. Uh, they can ban, sure, but it's not a 100% thing or whatever. There's plenty of people who duped that don't get any bans whatsoever. 
and using a glitch on uh, on Alexander right as it comes out, or like a month after it comes out or something like that, that doesn't seem like a bannable offense either, since you just fill in a bug report and be like, hey, this is a glitch. You can't... You can't fault a player for accidentally finding a glitch. To prove a point, yeah, I think so as well. Not sure what point they were trying to prove in the first place, but I most definitely know it's not about that glitch. Asking for a friend to slow to get back into 11 after 10 years break, scrafting still a thing worth doing? Yes, but it is a enormous skill sink, even more so than it used to be, and time sink, before you actually get anything out of it. Well, I w that's not entirely true, you get something out of it earlier on, but in general it's uh, something you shouldn't start with, if that makes sense. Like you do it after you've done most of the other stuff. Or, like, you have to go ham on it. You can't just half-ass that shit. If you half-ass it, you're just gonna dump kill in an eternal void. You're never gonna get it back. And the whole idea is to get it back. And get more back. But it, it takes quite a chunk of money to make one. Or to get a good crafting uh, thing going. This is all anecdotal though, so uh, keep that in mind. There are people who know more about crafting than I do. Uh, Alexi is one of them, for example. So if you have any questions regarding that, you can uh, redirect them to him. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Like, it can be very worth it though. Like, as soon as you're quote unquote done with crafting, like you finish your shield and that kind of shit, you can actually make a ton of money. For sure. It is still worth doing in that sense, but it, it takes a while to get to that point. Like, it, it really takes a while. <laughs> oh, just one. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go upwards then, and uh, go back to crawlers. I'll get that for later though. Yeah, it is, like, we're not talking about like 10 mil here, we're talking about multiple hundreds of millions. <laughs> I think a crafting shield is estimated at around 1 to 2 bill in total. Depends on how much you do yourself and how much you actually buy though. Cheapest a crafting shield has been was 600 mil. That's a steal. For 600 mil I'd make one. Yeah, it just depends on you yourself. In my opinion, just play the game, have some fun, and craft where you want to craft, but don't dump Gil into it thinking like, hey, I'm gonna make a lot out of this right away, because it takes a lot of investment before you start making money. Uh, AB6. Let's go AOE some more. Yeah, that's something you can definitely do. I myself don't really condone it, but it is definitely something you can do. Building it overnight. I, th I think it's just a shitty way to play personally though, but that's me. Everyone has their own opinion and I'll respect those, as long as uh, people don't get in my way. That's the only thing, if you do consider botting, like if you actually do want to bot, sure. But make sure that you don't stand anyone in the way, like, don't be an asshole. 
that's the one reason I actually um, report people as well. If they bolt and they get in my way, I, I'll report you. If the, if you bolt and you don't get in my way, I don't I don't really care. You do you, I do me. It's all good. Yeah, I wouldn't do it immediately. Like you can do it a little bit just for to get the feel of it back or something like that because the early levels are really cheap at least. But I wouldn't go balls to the wall with it right away. It's like 1.5 bill if you buy it all straight up. That sounds about right. Which is kind of funny because you could have made 1.5 bill by not making your crafting shield if you sell all your shit as well. Because all that stuff is opportunity cost. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it now, mostly because of the uh, new Odyssey gear. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna get obsolete. Like, unless they give it an update and get some new, sh uh, new stuff to craft, I don't think it's gonna be very good for very long. It's mostly SU5 weapons and JSC plus 2 now. I'm not manually putting in those ads, dude, I swear. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a lot lower, but in general, is it worth it? If, if like is it worth finish, finishing an entire shield? I think that's the reason like that's the question you need to ask here. Because for 1.5 bill, you can you can fully deck out quite a couple of jobs. I guess in the long run it would be, since gear gets replaced and you'll have to buy it again and again and again. Because that's the whole gameplay loop here. Mage gameplay here? Yep, I'm a scholar. So uh, we're definitely maging by using a weapon skill and just killing everything with our staff. <laughs> I think that's most uh, most of the reason to do it, though, to future-proof yourself in case others' uh, crafting shit comes out. That's fair, Oli. That's fair. That's a personal challenge uh, for it to you. I think that's completely fair. How long have you been streaming? Any suggestions for 11 players looking to start streaming? Uh, I've been streaming about uh, half a year now and just start, that's it. Have fun. <laughs> Ubu mage it says. Is there no untradeable gear in 11? Oh man, there's a ton of untradeable gear. Almost all gear is untradeable. But uh, you can craft stuff that you have to turn it at an NPC that makes it untradeable as well. But there's a ton of untradeable gear. Like, I think maybe 90%, maybe more. Almost all of it is untradeable. As soon as you either augment it or make it or whatever. I don't think I have that one yet on ARP. Let's see. I do now. <laughs> don't stream between that time slot. You can still stream between any time slot, really. I'd say just start streaming and have fun doing it because people like having fun. Nobody wants to watch someone being depressed about not getting uh, a 1 in 500 drop or something. <laughs> I 
I think there's... I don't know how many people there are during Aegean's time slot. I'm fairly sure there's plenty of them though, right? Like, I don't see why you wouldn't, to be honest. Because most people are online during his stream slot as well, since uh, most people that play this game are American. Or most people that stream play uh, play this game and watch stream, at least. The few uh, EU exceptions. Look at that. So much mage gameplay. Wow, only one gold chest. Okay. And a useless one, that's great. <laughs> just, yeah, don't worry about streams, don't worry about views, don't worry about shit. Just play the game, have fun and relax. That's all I can give you. Plus, if you do actually want to make money uh, playing this game and uh, by streaming it, uh, I highly suggest you play fucking Fortnite instead or something, because it's not gonna happen. Unless you literally buy your viewers. And I'm not going to name any names there. I'll buy viewers. Where do I sign up? Wait, you'll buy me some viewers? Fuck. Or make us buy bits and channel points to share your face. Yeah. <laughs> I I put that one there because I know nobody wants to see my face anyway. <laughs> uh, maybe some, someone actually cares enough to dox me. I don't know, guys. You guys are missing out. My face is pretty beautiful. Just play Pep for Ed. <laughs> uh, I was talking about Pep earlier on stream, uh, but uh, we're checking out uh, which skill chains uh, we can do and stuff with uh, a Puppet Master plus a Tomaton. It's like uh, four steps and three steps and shit. I want to see your foot. You said it's fucked up. It's not that fucked up anymore. It's just missing a piece of toenail now. And uh, for those who are eating, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's just here for the freak show, dude. You know what I like about the bits thing? It's fucking distracting because there's like a, a gif going on on my phone now. So every time I look at it, I'm like, God damn it, it's fucking distracting. I am getting ignored by my favorite 11 streamer, are ya? Do all overworld mobs drop chests uh, like that? No, definitely not. This is a Abisha only thing. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, see the message. But yeah, this is Abisha only. Uh, basically, the way you do it is uh, inside Abisha you have this system here. Or it's, uh, oh wait, I need to do this. Whoops, my bad. Uh, it's this system here, where it says a certain amount of lights, and these lights actually determine which one, uh, which chest will spawn. I don't know how I got that many rubies, by the way. That is weird. Oh, wait, I do know how I got that many rubies. It's because I killed the uh, bosses with uh, weapon skills. I should watch that. I shouldn't do that. That's an oopsie. I should just melee him down. Lamp oil, rope, bombs. Hmm. Fuck this trimmer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for distracting me. I love it. I actually do, because... Abisha is boring as fuck. <laughs> I can at least watch the funny gif. That sick is not streaming, he's sleeping. 
feels bad. <laughs> I love doing that. It's like a fucked up heart. It, uh, it is, but it's also a piece that resists, uh, has a lot of resist silence on it. And for Black Mage, it actually uh, allows you to do a certain build, which I'm fairly sure might actually be able to with the new Odyssey gear as well, for uh, mana wall tanking. I'm not sure if that's uh, possible with the new gear. When I am not getting ignored, my messages get misread instead. Of course. I can't read. How do you think play this game? I don't need to read in this one, I just need to run around, gather up some mobs and AoE them. That's all I do. I can't even read my own names, they're just random letters. Oh, like that. Oh, my bad. Um, yeah, they're in... Almost all overworld area, all old overworld areas, uh, it works like that. And on Wiki, you can actually see what you can get from those chests as well, because almost all of those chests, if not all of them, have a unique drop as well. Only the brown chest, though. Man, my brain is AFK. Okay, I'm just, I'm just farming. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for these tough questions. But yeah, that's that's basically how it works. There's also some um, crafting necks that you can get in those, which are really, really good. I should probably reset at this point, though. It's kind of shitty that I uh, built up my ruby that much. Shouldn't have done that. I wonder if there's something I can do there with, um, leaving the party before I do some NMs or something, so I don't get the uh, lights on wet. I'm fairly sure it takes the light of the killer instead of the uh, party's average or something like that. <laughs> ben? Yeah. <laughs> I was at zero when I started. Should probably go back to that. Uh, wow. Well, it's a dry spell out here. Got that perfect Diego. Feels good, man. It's the small things in life. Like landing that perfect AoE to pull all of the mobs that you want, but none of them that you don't want. Feels good. There we go. The uh, brown chest in the Valkram Dunes, by the way, used to drop some pants with strength on them, if I recall correctly. They were considered best in slot for I think at least the first 25 levels or something like that, and even then they were pretty good, even after. Ooh, I don't know about that. You can try, but I don't think you can. Definitely report back if you can, though. <laughs> yeah, what a refund. <laughs> I think that was possible, but it's not possible for Dutch people, which is kind of weird. I tried that before. Wow, 
Why would they have pants? Uh, maybe some adventurer died and he dropped some pants and the mobs uh, tried to eat them or something. I don't know. I don't know what mobs do in their free time. That sounded like a reasonable explanation. To be fair. I mean, plenty of people die in the dunes, so... It wouldn't be that surprising. If every death in the dunes would leave a corpse, I think there would be like a big fucking pile. <laughs> Where are you right now? This row. That's the best vermin camp. I remember having a pretty good one, but I can't remember where it was. I don't want that one anymore. Can. Anyone in the party can do it. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you know this, dude. Come on. Why do you think people keep asking other people to do atonement trials with them? Uh, the dunes is like pretty much a necropolis if the corpses stayed there. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy, man. Like every time, the first time you come in dunes, you're like, "Wow, ow, my eyes, thank you. I was, I was having a good time here." <laughs> it's really fucking bright. I don't know why it is in the dunes as well. Crazy ass area. It's free real estate. If I were a necromancer, I would just camp dunes all day. Back in the day, at least. Oh, nice. Got one. Uh, I'm not sure if I have it on this guy yet, but let's check. So that's the first guy that I can get an entire pop on. I don't have enough fight, though. All right. This is no, not going too well anymore, though. Mostly because of the uh, ruby lights. I should really reset. But it's only like 40 minutes left and I, I don't really feel like resetting. Do you know dark? Uh, I can't really remember. I'm fairly sure. Uh, what's it called? Besides like drain potency shit because that's that's a given. Um, there are some magic burst options they have, I think, like uh, Locust Ring, Mujin, Mujin Band and stuff that do actually work on the increase, as far as I know. Um, the job ability activation, if it coincides with the Paladin one, which is basically the holy equivalent, is on job ability activation. And the mid-cast would be the uh, drain one. I think Dark Seal. I think Dar Dark Seal is uh, job ability. Doesn't Wiki say that? You were talking about Judo and uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu being old and broken. <laughs> I totally got my fucking knee blasted while training yesterday. <laughs> well, that's what you get for trying to be young. <laughs> uh, I have to feel horrible, man. I'm sorry. Imagine casting spells as a mage. What's, 
What's a spell? I'm a dummy, I can just wave my stick around and that's it. That sounded better in my head, but don't uh... Don't say anything, please. <laughs> Toxic streamer loves waving a stick around. Some 19 year old guy, wildly athletic. Oh, that was your knee? Sorry, bro. <laughs> Pro you probably felt pretty bad then, right? I can't imagine if if you like are just trading and someone bust his knee because of you. I'd be pretty fucking like, oh shit. Whoops. <laughs> I wouldn't feel too good about myself. I think so too, Shirai. Hey, isn't that MP Lex though? Dark Seal. I thought it was. Or is uh, Dark Seal the equivalent of Divine Seal? Whichever one looks like Divine Emblem, that's the one I meant. Like, feels like Divine Emblem, I guess. It's pretty fun to do it like that as well, better. You can just uh, run around popping things. It's kind of nice. Oh, at least we're finally getting uh, gold chests again. Dark Seal's Relic Head. Oh, my bad then. Alright, I already have it on this guy. Oh, we got uh, three Vampire Fangs, that's good. Now all we have to do is not aggro him on the way there. Hey, I don't, I don't need those things, all right? I don't need boosts. It's for scrubs. I can AOE plenty without them. Plus, they actually do wear off after a while. So even if I did get them, I wouldn't have them anymore. I think at least. All right, I got three imbrute, uh, imbrute fangs. I, I should probably just go do DNMs at this point. God damn, Jeff. <laughs> if it isn't Ark, it's Jeff, man, I swear. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like, wow, this isn't busted at all. <laughs> What did I do? You make that jokes all the time. I don't think Jeff is quite making that jokes, but they're like a similar level at least. Same energy. He's not that far off. She said language. Oh, sorry. Language. <laughs> I don't know, I can just fucking imagine that. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'll probably TH all of these as well.
<laughs> language. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is this gonna be a meme? Oh no. <laughs> but I have a potty mouth. I can't. I can't speak without my sentence enhancers. Can't see shit. Ah, oh, fuck me. Did I actually? God damn it. Alright. Let's do that again. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean that. See? I can't do that shit. Ah, uh, I can't do that poop. Fuck. Campaign is on. Yep. American moms are notorious for shouting language when they overhear uh, someone saying like piss or den. Meanwhile they drop f-bombs the rest of the night. <laughs> That's great. At least I think it's on, wait, is it? Yeah, it's the 11th, it should be on in the 11th. I did get the Abisha campaign, so I'm fairly sure it's on. Uh, I have that one already. Oh, okay. In that case... Let's pass that on both of them. So we can... Get the one after. Fuck this, fuck that. Did you just say Dan? You fucking idiot! You can't say that shit! I actually love that, that's great. <laughs> Quality stream, mate, I know, right? <laughs> she just shouted it again. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I can't help it, okay? Like, it just means something else in, in my country. I'll, I'll just say that. It means something else, so it's like in my vocabulary. If you keep it up, she's gonna come over there and salted butter your biscuit with gravy. I don't know if she's threatening me with a good time or not, but sure. <laughs> Mom, this is a culture stream. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Why not? Let's put it in education as well while we're at it. I'm sure we can all learn some things here. Oh, it's light. Oops. No, don't do it. I turned! Fuck you! Uh, screw you. Lil means penis, yeah, in Dutch, that's true. Well, it doesn't mean penis, it means dick. Penis is uh, penis here. So if you call someone Lil, you call someone a dick. What do you mean? Penis is just a how you fucking say it, right? Come on. You got a tiny Lil? <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. But yeah, that is basically how you say that. Except for the tiny part. And the you got up part. No, don't! I swear to god, I turned again! Fuck you, game. Fuck you. I gotta live in Japan, dude. This is bullshit. God, I hate it when he does that. <laughs> I really do. I don't even bother turning anymore because I know it's gonna get me anyway. That's not even a boomer reaction, I was fast about it. Fuck off, mate. I had to undo this as well, you know? Alright, let's let's actually fucking look for it then. Fuck you. Oh, never mind, he's dead. Boomer clap. <laughs> oh my god, shut the fuck up. I'm... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not slow. I'm not. You guys are mean. <laughs> God damn it. Mate, you just use an add-on for it, you filthy cheater. Caps was mom shouting she wants to find something else to watch, but I'm not leaving. <laughs> Aww. She just want wanted to watch some The Good Wife or something. And here you put that filth on for the rest of your room to hear. How can, how can you, man? How dare you? Short bus riding? Wait, what, what the fuck is that? I'm... That better not be directed towards me, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> I ride the longest buses, okay? Um, I'm not pretty sure how to set that up. I tried it before, and I do have some amount of uh, emotes enabled, but I, c I could only enable like 15 or something. She called you heathen. That I am okay with. I am kind of a heathen. That's alright. I've been called worse things. 15 is good. I already did that though. It does actually absorb... Uh, well, I mean, it does work on drain. I don't know if it works on absorb spells. Are they dark based? If they're dark based, then yes. At least on accuracy. I don't think they work on potency though, because it's not damage. I'm fairly sure affinity is only damage up, not potency up. Light elemental, alright. That's the worst one as well. I really don't like 15. Then again, I didn't play it, so like I'm, I'm kind of dumb for saying it's shit. Maybe it's good. I don't know. It looks shit though. I mean. Like, at first I thought, oh, that looks fun, you can jump around and shit, but it doesn't feel like an FF to me. I think that's, like, most of my issue. Worst FF if you don't count one. Say shit one more time, I- oh, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the fuck am I allowed to say anymore? It's like my only word. <laughs> God damn it, man. Say cunt? Uh... Oops. Everyone loves the word cunt. I don't see the bad st stick my cunt gets. It's a pretty good word. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Whose mom is gonna call the manager on me? Leviathan chapter gives you hope it's gonna get better, then you get hit with chapter 13. Is it that bad? Gunt can be used in every sentence. How you doing, cunt? Twitch's mom just called. You're officially fucked. <laughs> I wish I was officially fucked by Twitch's mom. Feels good, man. I don't think the last one works that well. I know all these use uh, that were a lot though. I I do think like someone can be an asshole, someone can be a dick, and someone can be a cunt, and all three of those are entirely different in what they mean, which I kind of like. You can't quite say what what the difference is, but we all know it's there. I really like that. Oh, that sounds fun. 
I mean, is it just like a cutscene gallery or something? Kind of has to be at that point, right? Fuck you. Oh, by the way, for those that don't know, if you proc these things uh, and you use a weapon skill during their weapon skill, you can't proc. Which means I'm missing a lot. I'm being a dummy. The troll is used to by now, I'm sure. <laughs> That sounds, uh, yeah, that sounds pretty awful. I think uh, a similar kind of thing, but it's not like four hours. But the um, you're not alone scene in uh, Final Fantasy IX is kind of, I wouldn't say kind of like that because it's not, it's really not, but it has like a vibe of being alone and that kind of stuff. I really like that scene, by the way. It's really good for those that have not played it. It does have a really big point, yeah. That, that was a really good scene. May I love Final Fantasy IX, man. It is, it is so good story-wise. I don't, I don't fucking get how people can shit on that one. Yeah, nine. It is really good. Easily one of my favorites. Blank is the best character. You know. What I, you know, which uh, theme song I actually like the most in uh, Nine. I like the um, uh, what's it called? I I like the Kuja theme the most, the first Kuja theme. So not the one, uh, not the Dark Messenger one, like the one where he goes apeshit and starts nuking everyone, but the uh, the piano one. Piano one is like it just sounds insane. Like it sounds like insanity on a piano. It is so good, dude. You're not alone? Yeah, that, that makes sense. Legit thought the guy in the beginning was a giant chicken guy and it just pissed me off so I couldn't get into it. Uh, I, I, I can't say anything else, but I highly recommend you revisit it for, because the game and the story is actually so good. It really is. It really fucking is. Like, obviously, I'm looking through it uh, with rose tinted glasses, and I, I realize that, but it honestly is. It is so fucking good, that one. Amaranth, yeah, dude. <laughs> Thought he was a fucking chicken. <laughs> How does he guy... How does he look like a chicken, though? Like, I get a lot of things, but chicken, I, I'm, I have a little bit of trouble understanding. <laughs> like a rooster? I guess on um, on a lot of the old uh, PS games, like everything's so pixelated, you can't really see what it is. So that kind of makes sense, I guess. I think 12 is still my favorite single player FF, but I think 9 is still really, really, really good. Uh, I don't, I don't think that that one didn't really work. The uh, link. I think you need to send that again. Uh, in Chrome. Find all in Chrome. Find all in Chrome. Okay, I don't have it on these two. Let's do it. So this one first. Doesn't really matter which one we do first. It's kind of funny because that guy looks like a damage dealer, right? But he's actually the best healer in the game. By far. Wait, what? 
You thought her. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Are you serious? Oh, it's lightning. Never mind. There we go. Did you actually? Why isn't she wearing any pants? What's going on here? Alright, curse that up. Easy peasy. Humanity would have died if there were uh, only asshole sticks and cunts, since there's only one place. Wait, since there's only one missing with only those. True. Any truers in chat? I was confused. I mean, I didn't know what to think about uh, Sinna as well, as a character. And then the HD version came out so I could actually see what his character model was supposed to be and nothing changed. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's that's his actual character model, man, okay. <laughs> that was the best shit, man. Like, I legit thought I was seeing it wrong, but no, I was right. <laughs> it just looks awful. Epic Name Bro has been streaming uh, 9 for a few weeks now, also has streams in those PS1 era games. No, no, I, I got it, Jeff. I did get it. I did get it. I'm just burnt out from all uh, all of Ark's that, hu that humor. <laughs> just uh, give him the blame. <laughs> Easy clap. How much time do I have left? 81 minutes. It's actually kind of nice having all the, the uh, time extensions. I haven't that jo joked you for a week, and I was recovering until Jeff came along. <laughs> what actually happened, Ark? Why did you stop? Did you stop because of us? I have to go shopping, I don't want to go. That's fair enough. If you... I'll do you one better, just wait 10 minutes, then my stream's over as well, and you'll kind of have to at that point. Because the, uh... Eerie cold of reality will set in by then, and you just want to go outside after that. Too real. <laughs> you guys have gone quiet. <laughs> there we go. I think that's the last one. We should be able to pop time straight now. I'll uh, go kill Farney right after as well. Oh yeah, right. I forgot to do that. Good point. That's a good point. We don't want that shit. Alright, let's see where Farney is. Hopefully he's not here. Oh, he's all the way over there. We're fine. I just don't want to deal with him right now. I'll kill him after for his key item though. He's pretty free anyway. Don't leave, I just put my headphones in and told her I turned you to another station. Aw, <laughs> uh, now I feel bad. Come on, bro. <laughs> I rushed through that store and my girlfriend wonders how I get out so fast when I go without her. I actually uh, had that once. Did you know that you can get jokes from a grocery store? They're pretty corny. Wow. Hydrate, that's actually perfect. I'll see if I have some liquor in house because I'll need it after that one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was that was pretty terrible, I'm not gonna lie. I think I think you actually did make a more terrible joke than mine last time. No regrets. <laughs> God 
damn it, man. The shitty part about dad jokes is I keep laughing at them, even though <laughs> even though they're fucking terrible, and like I'm I'm entirely at fault for for doing that. I just should stop laughing at them. I really should. That's a uh, big boy Taurus. There we go. I can actually watch what's going on now. Excuse me, did Sylvie just fucking turn that shit? You're not allowed to have fun in vision. Well, I, I mean, that's true, but can we at least try? It's gonna be Doom, I think. Yep. And it's gone. Two boogie swings, hell yeah, dude. We take those. May as well uh, pull Farney right away. You're kinda egging me on after that last joke. <sighs> I wouldn't be here otherwise, uh, but uh, I like to finish my stages first. Damn it, man. <sighs> I try so hard not to laugh, it's actually so difficult. Don't you mean last yo- Oh my god, dude, come on. Please. God, that's actually so terrible. <sighs> I don't think I agree with you there. <laughs> Y5. How have I never heard that before? Uh, what is Black Mage's AoE? Terrible. For real though, if you want AoE damage in this game, go blue. It is by far the best. Like, by an absolute fucking hundred million miles. But their their AOE, like their AOE is, is on demand, which is nice, because you can just cast it. But that's the same uh, thing with blue if you have it set as well. That's pretty much a problem though. Like if you do blue, you have to have a set for both that and for your um, auto share as well, like meleeing. Then those spell sets actually differ pretty wildly as well. But in general, Black Mage AoE is not that great. The only great thing about it is that it's on demand and that's about it. Forgetting Sylvie dies to Doom. Should start Curse Nying her as well. Because every time Sylvie dies, my haste is pretty much non existent anymore. Alright. Let's try and make this a little bit faster at least. Be better. I love this club, man. It's so good. <laughs> That's the reason I actually do want a Kraken club, so I can use this as a lock style. And get like a million of those sounds at the same time. God, that has to be the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> Light elemental weapon skills, alright, at least we got a read. Finally. There we go. I 
I think it's really fucking funny. There are a few items in the game that do that, by the way. There's also a bell that gives like a bell kind of sound uh, when you smack something with it. If I recall correctly. I love those items though. They're funny. They're like joke weapons, but they actually turn into pretty fucking obnoxious weapons as well. <laughs> because of uh, the sounds they make. It's pretty great. Just got one. Oh, nice. I'm not sure if there is one actually. That would be pretty cool. I'd use it. I'd definitely use that. That sounds funny as fuck. I forgot to get Sylvie out again like a goddamn dumbass. Just like the whipping sound every single time. Or as I like to call it, the Johnny Test sound. I don't know if everyone's uh, anyone's seen that show, but holy shit, that is hard to watch, man. Holy shit. I'm sure, that, I'm sure there's a few of you that have seen it. That's not good. Johnny Test. No, not Johnny Quest, that's something else. With a T, not a Q. Shit. Everyone saw that? I don't know. <laughs> Ran out of bullets mid brew. <laughs> I swear I'm so paranoid when it comes to shit like that, like preparation. I don't know how you guys do it without. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Badass going off, dude. <laughs> Like an hour recharge belt, cunt. <laughs> Which belt do you even have on the... Oh, wait, on pedagogy, that makes sense. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> We're all friends here. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. I forgot to get Sylvie out again. How? Do I don't even have enmity on this guy. What the fuck? I thought I still could, goddammit. That's some bullshit. Hour away. Yeah, that is a bit shit. Who is Johnny Test? Oh, um, yeah, so it's a... Just a cartoon, I guess. But the, um... The entire cartoon revolves around whipping noises. Like, literally, someone walks, whipping noise. Someone talks, whip, whipping noise. Someone jumps on a skateboard, whipping noise. Someone makes a joke, five whipping noises. And it keeps happening, dude. I swear, it is so hard to watch that thing. It really is. I watch that shit. How do you not notice that? Like seriously, you should you should check out a episode after uh, after stream. It's it's fucking funny, man. Like it is legitimately hard to to watch, in my opinion. As a moron kid, <laughs> I 
I feel like that's a vibe I'm getting for most uh, 11 players at this point. <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah, actual children. It's just a cartoon. Like, children from... What is it, like... 6 to 12 or something? Something like that? It's just like cartoon, like fucking... Cartoon Network cartoon kind of thing. Is Farney already up? Uh, yes, no, but I should be up soon, I think. Monked out at screen. Monk ass. Oh, sweet, I got 16 of them already. This trial goes a lot faster than I thought it would be. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> you turn that shit on. Wh whipping noise, there we go. <laughs> Immediately. Fucking great. <laughs> I don't I don't fucking know why it does that. <laughs> it's, but it, like a whipping noise at least every 10 seconds. I shit you not. If you do a drinking game where you take a shot every time you hear a, a whipping noise or just a sip, you would die within like 10 minutes. It's fucking crazy, man. Like it's funny as fuck obviously, but it's <laughs> Like seriously, watching that shit, it's it's impossible, man. I, I can't help it. <laughs> Immediately dead. <laughs> oh, that's good though. I I like that they pulled through on their whipping noises. Just one little segment of the show, immediate whipping noise, that's so good. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's the dumbest fucking show ever, but it's, like, it's kind of fun at first, but those whipping noises, man, like, once you notice them, they, they fucking haunt you. And it's like, okay, I can't watch this shit anymore. Because all I hear is whipping noises, that's just, that's all, all the world is now. That's a lot of gold boxes. Let's hope there's some good ones. Don't you just love that when, when a show pulls through like that? Like it's known for something dumb and it just immediately does a dumb thing. I love that shit man, it's so good. What's the uh, monthly Ambu item, uh, the monthly Ambu extra item, by the way? Kinda curious. A trials. That's not even the worst one. I mean, they're still pretty shitty, but... <laughs> Poor guy who just wants his gun, dude. Just give him, a, give him his gun, as he. Come on. He earned it. We all know he earned it. Just, uh, just give him his gun. should actually stop by the way. Um, I think we'll do one more Farney and then I'll uh, go do something else. Some IRL shit I need to take care of as well. The fucking assaults and salvage anger. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. You were very angry at those. You're straight up having a bad time. Oh, 
don't. Why do you make it stressful? Just chill out and fucking farm away a little bit. Stop making it stressful for yourself, man. It's bad for you. No, for real. They're just trials. Just chill. I'm just gonna shoot it a little bit. Put on some music, light some candles, play one handed, just chill. Yeah, it's just assault, just chill. You have like 10 minutes to do it. Why won't I get this fucking ore? What the fuck, game? <laughs> oh. It's kind of funny because immediately after you streamed that, the um, I think I saw the same fucking thing happen on Scotty's stream. That shit was funny as fuck. Like immediately. You just started mining for an ore and kept not getting it. <laughs> nah, I'm done. I'm just waiting for one more pop here and then uh, we're off. It should be in the next minute or so. I don't feel like it's that good to go to the uh, other ones anymore. I can A weedy bats really easily as well. They pull so nicely. Ooh, gargoyle hand. We take those. Uh, first one goes to Arb. We got a toenail here, we can do one more pop. Unfortunate. Alright, Farney, show you show thyself. There he is. Let's do this real quick. Unfortunately, hey, knocked out. Silly bitch, DC'd. Rip. I swear, DC'ing happens so much more often on window. I don't know why, man. I almost never DC. It's not internet as well. It's fucking weird. Just heard my sister saying, ooh, woo. Where can I get my replacement? I think at the uh, sister trade in store. done here for now that is uh, I'm doing pretty well I finished my fistule uh, today and we're pretty far in uh, bookies as well already so we got 16 bookie swings and a couple of uh, key items lined up for tomorrow now it's pretty good Let's see if I uh, can get one more here oh that's a shame wrong one all right I'm gonna bail then Jibai was here this morning. Yeah, he's an older uh, older viewer. He was there from pretty much the start. The guy's funny as fuck. <laughs> I think him and Nocto have like a, a weird ass understanding in chat. <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. It's just it's just fucking weird. Like whenever both of them are on, they trash talk each other the entire fucking time. It's great. <laughs> It's like somehow wholesome trash talk. Like I, it's very hard to explain. You'll probably see it happen at some point though if you stick around. <laughs> yeah, something about a clown army and him dying in the garbage uh, shit at all. He was just like, I think he just started playing again, and he he just laid there AFK dead with all of his characters in the garbage shit at all. 
someone made a screenshot of him, and that's like a permanent thing now <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> it's pretty good though, it's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, drop you guys off at Fractured because I want to get some food. You died in the clown war, exactly. Oh, he's doing a bitch as well. Yeah, more of the same for you guys. Yay! I'm fairly sure it's even the same zone. <laughs> Alright, no problem, and have a good one. Tomorrow, same time as per usual. See you guys later.